Warning. Broken simulation. Broken simulation. With Sam Tripoli. Welcome to Johnny Woodard Presents a Broken Simulation starring Johnny Woodard is- in it. What is this, the new presentation style? Yeah, for me? I'm this? in it, Johnny. Don't even worry about how I get into it. Just know that I'm in it and I'm making it oh, happen. Story. Johnny, what? It? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Hey, huh? Am I supposed to introduce you too? Is that how this works? No. Okay. Because you didn't introduce yourself, did you? Well, that's okay. You don't need an introduction. Those who know, know. Those who know, no. Johnny, I'm going to be honest with you. I know we're going to get into the news because the people <laughs> love the news. Well, we just, we got I am to hurting. Thing, what, what are you hurting from? Today? I did a double workout today. What are the two workouts? Jiu-jitsu and weightlifting. And I've hit a plateau. What uh, hurts? Uh, j- you ever just had that whole, your whole body's like, why? <laughs> why? Why'd you do this to us? But I love not it. Really. I love it. No, like, I'm not that old yet. Kettlebells are just this evolution in workouts. Did you say kettlebells? What, is they, what are they called? Kettle. Kettle. Because oh, they're ke- shaped like a kettle. Did I say cattle? You said cattle. Like they're oh, cows. Because I think they used to look like cows, right? In the, in the, way back in the day. That has nothing to do with okay, what Okay, so anyways, kettlebells. <laughs> kettlebells. Oh, ke- kettlebells. Because they're heavy as cows, man. <laughs> but, dude, they've just changed the game, bro. Poor dumbbells. What exercise are you doing? Dumbbells are like, what happened to us? What exercise do you do with them? I have a nice kettlebell set. But. I have a whole, I have a whole bunch of stuff. What, I have a guy. What, you do a those guy things where you just, like get up from the floor. That whole the all circus. that, dude. Yeah, all that. I'm doing this thing where I just take the kettlebell and wrap it around my head like that. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Some things I'm I'm pretty strong at, and then others I'm a weak ass bitch. You're like you were wrangling cattle with that move. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah, yeah. What What are the weak moves for you? What are your weak ass at? Uh, I'm not very good at the push-ups. You got long arms. I was. Well, long why. arms. I have like uh, Mr. Potato Head body and le- arms. I have like string bing arms and this thick ass body. You doing a lot of push-ups? Well, I'm doing a lot of workout stuff. Like, uh, but Johnny, I assume you're doing bench, right? Not like push push-ups. We're doing. A, he's got this whole workout for me. So you're I doing push-ups that. and bench press? Everything. Hmm. Interesting. And on top of jujitsu, on top of uh, Thai boxing. <laughs> You're an insane person. I am, dude. I just love it, though. Hey, you can't hit a moving target, Johnny. Come on, dude. You got to constantly be b- pressing, dude. I got to press my body. Speaking of hitting a moving target, did you see... Uh, so there is a... Uh, well, someone who was born a man. Break is, it down exactly for those who may not know. It's someone fighting the Olympics okay, who, was, who was deemed ineligible in other events because of their genetics. Uh, they, don't, they don't qualify uh, for the female. Uh, <laughs> so it's, who is this woman? She uh, is, um, doctor? Well, who is this person? Uh, where is Her she from? Her name is uh, Iman Khalif, it looks like. So Khalif reportedly, and this is according to USA Today, has... Differences of sexual development, whatever that is, known as DSDs. Now, here's the thing. Uh, in March 2023, she competed for the gold medal in the finals of the IBA Women's World Boxing Championships. However, she was disqualified shortly before her gold medal bout. Uh, she was disqualified, according to this, because there never... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, because there was evidence that she had XY chromosomes. DNA tests proved that they had XY chromosomes. Okay. Which means that she is She's genetically a, a man. I, I, I've been hearing people saying that she was born with... Well, I think it might be possible that maybe if she was born with both sexes and yeah. they chose female at birth, Yeah. Uh, but she would still have the genes and the testosterone, and the, more of importantly, man, of, of a man, man. Which it sounds like is so what she is. So she's basically Blade. Right, she's, yeah, she's, she's a daywalker. She's a daywalker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now she's in this fight in the Olympics against... Angela An Carini Italian from chick. Italy. Some Italian chick, yeah. And this this girl, this woman, apologies, gets hit one time by her, uh, is what she says. She's like, I got hit once, and it was unlike anything I've ever felt, and just said, done, no more. Uh, and, you know, I mean, to see somebody just quit like that in the middle of the bout is, is not common. Uh, she says, but Carini said, I didn't give up. Uh, one punch hurt too much, and so I said enough. Uh, and then Lauren Bober. No, but she has every right to do that. She has every right to quit. Not get brain damage. Yeah, yeah, and be like, this isn't right. 
She failed another test because we're in the wokest place in the world, ran by a globalist. Uh, oh, IOC is the worst. Dude. The worst. And why, why am I going to put myself on the line for this? Why am I going to get brain damage from getting a, a, a punch by a trans? <laughs> It's even, I mean, trans, I mean, at least trans, a lot of them are on hormones to like bring down their testosterone. This woman is, or this person is just, uh, there are, listen, dude, full, here's a guy, fact. It's Here, it just like, I'm not condoning this in any way, but it's just like, there are, there are blends out there. There, there are just these anomalies. No, oh, yeah, and it may be that she needs to fight in the, the anomaly division. They, I, they should have a trans, I mean, at this point, just do a trans division. Just do a trans division. Here's the thing that's, that's most funny to me is that she uh, apologized to her, apparently. The one that lost and, and quit apologized to the person she quit in front of, which is, I mean, the idea that you would have to do that is... is well, it's, it, it's just crazy. We're putting people... I mean, the internet lost it. Just lost it. They're like, this is bullshit. This is a domestic violence. And, and it's just like... But see... I don't think this person ever lived their life as a no. They didn't no. Uh, as a as a man. No. What what we see is a lot of these these guys who like there was like this like Navy SEAL that's like I'm trans. He's got like all the Navy SEAL tats. Like he's got all the bad like you know all the bad like barbed wire and like <laughs> he's like hey man I'm gonna you know even though I'm not Samoan or what uh, I'm gonna get all that New Zealand tats and stuff like that. He came out as trans, and it's like which way though? He 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 was a Navy SEAL and now he's, he's a going woman. to. Oh, I thought you meant and he, he wants was to a woman. MMA fight women. <laughs> and you're like, Please. no, dude, Please you don't get to become a Navy SEAL and then beat up chicks. What about now? There is someone in Ty from Taiwan too that's boxing, and I don't know now. They uh, their name is Lin Yu Ting, and they've all uh, they've also failed a gender eligibility. Yeah, test. Uh, but Asian men are pretty much chicks. Well, I was gonna say, I mean, you like the most feminine of people. Yeah, look yeah, at that. I mean, like that. Yeah, I mean the the person who was. They should have to fight each other. <laughs> I mean, that person looks more male than this person. Yeah, does, I mean that. Yeah, that that reminds me. That reminds me of the spy that was like married to a guy for nineteen years and he never noticed. Oh, that redheaded woman that they arrested and sent back to. No, no, to, no. Uh, there was a famous like a Chinese spy or Japanese spy Chinese that was a Japan. dude that lived his life as a woman and oh, he married. Oh, trans. Oh, wow. And he married a guy high up in the U.S. government or the British government, and the guy never knew that that was his. He's banging a trans. Hey guys, Johnny here. Obviously, I'm about to post the episode. Thank you so much for listening. If you have a second, please leave a review. It helps us so much to move up in the rankings. It helps us to fight the shadow banning. Also, if you could just download the episode, even if you don't plan on listening to all of it right now, that's uh, a great way for you to also help us because they see that as a listen. Uh, so yeah, please leave a review, download it. Thank you so much for listening. And if you don't do any of that, we still very much appreciate you being here. Anyway, back to the show. No, this is, <laughs> look at, is this real? Hold on, look at this dude. Look at, look at this person. That's like an old timey. A uh, Chevalier Dion de Beaumont, Beaumont uh, usually known as Chevalier Dion, was a French diplomat, spy, and soldier, uh, and spied for France while in Russia and England. Dion had androgynous physical characteristics and natural abilities as a mimic and a spy. Look, look, yeah, look at that. You don't see that often, do yeah, you? Yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, painting of a uh, by, guy by in a the dress. way, doesn't that look like uh, uh, um, every alt comic? Who was like writing on deep on cable back in the day, right? <laughs> That's so Does funny. That? Dude. Does that? What was that? Upright Citizens Brigade? That looks like everybody. Yeah. What was that favorite like TV show? Yeah, like. yeah, 100%. It's like just ridiculous. Like trans have always been a, a blenders, dog. They just come in and they come out. Yeah, it's, I don't see anything about what you're talking about, though, huh? No, there was a famous Asian spy. I typed spy. in trans spy. No, Asian, go Asian spy. Married man, didn't know she was trans. Didn't know it was a guy. Uh, da, 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 da. Shi Pai Pu was a Chinese <laughs> opera singer from Beijing. Uh, he became a spy who obtained secrets from Bernard oh. Bors Borsquiat, an employee in the French embassy. Is this it? Might a 20 be a year long sexual yeah. affair? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's him. Okay. Uh, yeah, her, her name, uh, their name is Shi Pai Pu. <laughs> 
Pew was a Chinese opera singer. Her name was Pew 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 Pew. <laughs> Twenty year long sexual affair, and and you know they didn't have bottom surgery back then, so he was just hitting. The other hole. You the know whole this time. is basically he knew. Thing. Yeah, he knew. this guy was in, the, in the trance, and he she, and he was like, "Oh, I didn't know." That <laughs> look, at, look at this comment, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> He'd be shocked if he knew he was sucking. So that stupid. He just wanted to hit it. Yeah. Give, right? it, give that guy a break. Yeah, you know? come on, dude. They probably that's probably how they blackmailed him. They probably were like, you know, my guy, right? And then. He's like, oh, yeah, I do. That's why I'm here. And isn't it crazy that Eric Swindell's still like in Washington D.C. like after he banged that Chinese spy oh, that died? Yeah, right. And that, that guy's an idiot. Yeah, and the, like who is he running against? The Trailer Park Boys? Yeah, who like is how he does he keep getting elected? And he loves talking. I mean, he's. I always see him talking. <laughs> I mean, by the way, total gay face. Am I right? Big like guy, real yeah, yeah. T- gay face. I was trying to find out who's like. I wouldn't doubt if that was just another layer of deceit. Like, bro, I love chicks so much. I banged a Chinese spy. I'm totally not into dudes. Uh, anyway, I thought that was funny. The uh, the the they boxer that was just. I'm, it's not often you see somebody just at the beginning of a fight, just like, nope, nope, not doing it. That's yeah, pretty, yeah. I mean, that's like yeah. a Mike Tyson yeah. kind of situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has what she if, fought again? Uh, the the Turkish. No, there's other people that they I'll fight her. I don't care. I don't care. We'll see how that goes. She. I mean, like, here's the whole thing, dude. I like. Do you think? I don't know how hard she punches. I'm not saying she doesn't punch. She hard. looked pretty hefty, like stout. I would say for her weight class, they weren't that much of a change. She she just looked thinner. I'm not saying she. That what that the other girl is is uh, she didn't have any of that woman fat on her though. That yeah, she had none of that woman yeah, fat. And the other that. woman had definitely had yeah. that. I could have baby fat. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, dude, it's great. I mean, this whole Olympics is just insane, dude. Like, it's been both the greatest thing ever and the and well, of the I, most. I mean, bu- if we want to do that, I got the clips here. It's just how about them? Sw- how about every go- everyone going? The river is polluted. Nobody should be swimming this river. And then they swam in the river, and they all were throwing up. Oh, were they? I, I oh, didn't know. You didn't see that? that? No, no, no. When were they throwing? When did they get? Look up. Olympian swimming swim in river in the and Seine. throw up. So it's this. Fa- it's the famous river. The Seine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, here it is. Olympic triathlete Tyler... Mislachuk reveals uh, what made him sick after he vomited 10 times swimming in the Seine River. Yeah. Uh, The Canadian triathlete who went viral for vomiting 10 times revealed what made him sick after he swam across the polluted Seine River in Paris. Uh, For me, whether I was... Maybe he saw that woman's pussy. That the boxer's (laughs) pussy. (laughs) Look, dude. Look, look, look. Maybe he saw the boxer's pussy. Oh, it's so gross. Look at him. Just, I mean, a river of vomit coming out of his Yeah, but look at the guy over there. Look at that guy there. I, mean, I think that's just what happens after you do a triathlon. Triathlon. I think your body is just like you fucked up, dude. Time to take a nap. So you don't think it has to do like, remember, you anything see, you to see do people with like how- shitting themselves and stuff after doing these things? Like people just fall collapse after marathons and stuff like that. What like, did he say it was? Why? I don't know. I was looking to see. Uh, I just thought it was the the Olympics, but let's. I mean the the water, but let's see. Um, he blamed the high temperatures for his mid race puking. Not okay, the, not, not the, the not polluted the, uh, river no, that everyone said. says was polluted. No, that was that story was not true. Okay, he, I, not according to him anyway. But yeah, and then I mean we've gone over it. But yeah, we talked is, about this. I, mean, I do I do comedy and, and I'm on so stage and it's a really fucking hot crowd and I open up with a new joke and it does it goes sideways fast. Oh wait, is this the video on? Yeah, Instagram. And it's basically I go. I go, you know, it's like, okay, why do we have drag queens at the opening? Like, do we need that? Don't, I mean, you ha- you already have RuPaul's Drag Race. Do we need another competition for them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want me to pull this up? Yeah. Uh, we suspect behavior on your account. I automated mean, behavior, it says. What does that even mean? Like, we've been doing automated. It's logged into that cash studies thing. So oh. It could be the account got hacked. It's possible. Oh, That's really? That weird. Uh, Can you go back? To, I just want to see it again. Well, I didn't hit a button. It just went away on its own. So I, I didn't hit anything. I hit dismiss. Like, it won't come back. I don't think there's anything to go back to. Yeah. Can we just see, like, nah, the, the Cash Days account? Oh, 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 the Cash Days account? Yeah, yeah I just Oh, wow. Sam. 
like, Howie and there's Johnny. That's pretty great. <laughs> I didn't even know we weren't even. I didn't even know this thing was still going. Yeah, me either. I didn't know. It was still so crazy. Let's, okay, Sam Trivoli. Uh, I want to pull up that video. What's up? What are you talking about? Uh, Who? Hi, why? You don't like drag queens? No, I love drag. I just literally, literally said I said, love drag queens. Love drag queens, been a drag queen. But show. I'm just saying I don't need them everywhere all like the time. Like the opening of Olympics. Why is that bad? Right? Okay, but nobody needs you everywhere. Nobody. I'm, I'm literally one place, sir. 1215 at the yeah, comedy store you that you paid to go to. You dumb mother. You didn't enjoy the show. It's okay. Nobody cares. It's over. It's over. Our time here together is done. No, don't shut up. It's the so end of I'm the night. Who don't shut it down. That's what I want to say there. people that yeah. just f***ing thinks that he's special because he takes a dick. <laughs> Nobody gives a <laughs> okay? It doesn't mean you're special because you get f***ing in the You're just another dude who's coming in here into a house of dreams where I've been here for 20 years when you're going to go to f***ing work at f***ing Starbucks tomorrow crying like a Okay? And that's the end of the night. Who am I bringing you up? That's the best. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Sure. Lucas Hurl had a great time after that. That's so funny. <laughs> that looked like a great crowd. No, but they were fire up until I got there. And then I walk up and they just get quiet on me because I'm like, dude, it's the opening of ceremonies. We just don't need man. drag queens. Can we? I like drag queens. Are, that's literally what I said. Drag queens are great. And I then just can't I go, imagine my parents watching that at home. Like, and people are just like, and people, and I go, and people are upset because it's so gay. It's France. Everything they do is gay. Yeah, There's true. nothing yeah. France does that isn't gay. Like Cirque du Soleil and, and, and croissants are so gay. <laughs> They're so gay. Like, what are we talking about? Nobody cares. You have RuPaul's Drag Race. Leave the opening. That's all I'm saying. It's like, isn't there a place where we can... Listen, dude, they would have gotten the same effect with Cirque du Soleil. They would have gotten the same effect, but oh, yeah, no bitching. Yeah. There would have been no bitching. You're like, oh, my God, Cirque du Soleil is great. It's athletic achievement. Like, and, it's impressive. And it's gay as shit. Yeah, and we'll be gay. like, dude, that was great, but it's so gay. But then you have dudes with, with, with strong jaw lines in, in Daisy Dukes with beards. I mean, come on, dude. What are we doing here? Speaking of Circus Soleil, they closed because the Mirage is closing. They shut down the Beatles show forever. It's gone, dude. Uh, Hold on, went, why uh, is the Mirage closing? What do you? No, oh, that's that's where they have it, right? The Beatles show. Yeah, the Mirage. Yeah, it's it's done. It, it already closed. It's going to be a hard rock now. It's going to be a giant guitar shaped. Uh, oh, good for uh, that. Thing. But yeah, but they shut down the Beatles show. One of the most popular. I shows cannot in Vegas. believe the Mirage is gone. That is the big problem with the West Coast. Is it has no uh, no loyalty. To any history. Yeah, final day was July 17th. I cannot believe that. And yeah. think about it, they're getting rid of the Beatles show. What better show is there for well, they can the bring hard it rock? back? No, they said it's done because that theater, they're destroying it. That theater costs $100 million to build. Is Why? Specifically... They're just destroying it? Yeah, they're getting rid of it. Why? It's already over. I went to the very last show. It was kind of moving. Everybody was crying and th getting flowers. Oh, them Johnny, stuff. that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, but uh, don't, I mean, you wouldn't think all that work in decades invested, like almost, I think it's like 18 years they've been doing that show. And just gone. Uh, all those people that are trying to find work for them, they said. Because imagine that's a pretty that's specific skill set. That's a lot of people. Yeah. And that's a what lot. does that apply to? You know, I can't that, imagine. Parkour. I mean, it's. Okay, I'm glad they're going to be a hard rock back. Some of my, the greatest yeah. days of my life, I could tell you. I, let me just put this. Okay, I've had some wonderful times in my life, and my life right now is pretty great. My 40s were wonderful. I did struggle with drugs and alcohol, but it was a great decade for me. But my early days of doing stand-up comedy and, and going to the hard rock and doing stand-up is never, these kids don't know what they're missing. What do you mean? Is this crazy or what? It was just party, drugs, everybody just getting weird, banging, no, no. No social justice warrior bullshit. Like, I cannot imagine spending, like, what do you think kids spend by the end of their college careers now? Like, by the time, the payoff college. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. What is it? Like, 300000 I don't, I mean, like, let me see. Okay, uh, I'll ask ChatGPT. What is the average student debt? 
Uh, the average student debt in the United States can vary significantly based on factors, blah, blah, blah. Uh, as of 2023, the average student loan debt for a bachelor's degree is thirty to 35000 A year. Uh, I think to, for, uh, no, for a public college, you go into about thirty to 35 debt, it sounds like. Overall? For, over so. the four years? For a years? bachelor's degree. Yeah. Wow. I thought it was way more. I mean, the way they're well, making private it, school, it's like it's that much a year. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah a year. Like more, some right? people are leaving like with uh, like two hundred thousand dollars in debt, and, and all you're getting out of that is protest and anger, right? Like when I was a kid, it was an anger. Dude, I used to walk to class and get laid. I remember I'd be walking to class. I know you've said that, I, and I, chicks I just, would be like, "Hey, what's up?" I'm like, "Go time, let's so go." Album, I had none of that. Experience. None of that, giant. But you gotta understand, I got nothing in high school. I like no girls wanted to date me. They all thought I was a retard. It was way better in high school. I, I I got I got really into my own head in college too. Didn't leave a lot, you know. Just kind of. Uh, Johnny, would you say you're a homebody? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it's that. Just sense. I grew up on the farm, you know what I mean, and and there's not a lot of leaving, you know. Yeah, there's not. You have in to the drive, winter like, comes, you don't see anybody. You hibernate. Right. Yeah, I mean, my dad's that way, dude. My dad hasn't been on vacation in decades. Like he hasn't. Johnny, I've never been on a vacation, and I'm taking my kids back east. It's looking like towards the end of August to meet the go to the homeland. I mean, he hasn't. I, he hasn't left the country except to go to Honduras on a mission trip one time, and that was it. For Christ? To build, like, houses for people oh, down there. Yeah. yeah. Some people do that, man. Some people mm -hmm. don't even leave their hometown ever. They just don't leave. and it, He goes to horse races. That's his only travel, and he'll go to, like, you know, like, Arkansas and Texas and stuff for that shit. But yeah, but some people are just simple like that. Assume, and then some man. people are like, I got to see everywhere. I have so many friends that, like, I'm like, every time you see me, like, where are you? Oh, I'm on vacation. You're like, you were just on vacation. What do you mean you're on vacation again? And then they'll be like, I'm broke. I'm like, come on, shut up. You're always on vacation. Always. But uh, so I had to go do Kansas City. It's been a while since we did the show. So I go to Kansas City. This is two weeks ago. I go to Kansas City. And uh, I don't even. It's so funny. I don't even know how. Uh, I, 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 oh, like, they're like, oh, you can check in now. On the, on the dot. It's a 24 hours before I check in group six right out the gate. I like, I can't get earlier. I, I never Wait, get what, earlier. Do you, what do you mean? What, what airline you find Southwest where I'm like, flying Delta and you don't know in advance what group you're going to get. No, you, well, you got to get status first. You have to fly with them enough to get status. I try to tell group two fucking Dana America. that and she won't. That's the only way to do it though. I, I just, I like, dude, I just want to do De Delta. And then she jumps me around to all these other places and I never accumulate any of my status. You could get a, you could, the other way to get a lot of miles, and I've done hey, this. Do you think that's uh, grounds for divorce? Absolutely. Just yeah. to like leave? Yeah. Be like, I told you, if I you only were married, that would be a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, 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 I tell you the joke I do with Dana all the time. I wish you had gotten married so yeah. I could have gotten divorced <laughs> by now. Um, so, anyways. But you could get a credit card, is what I was going to say, because I put, I, do, I got what a I credit do, card. Or get a, a D Delta credit card. I got it. Do you? Because yeah. I put all my spending on it and just pay it off at the end of the month so I never take any interest and I get. Tons of miles that way. I could have gotten you status got an, just from Is that. that an MX? No, uh, what are they? The city card for American. And does, do you get points on it? Miles. Cashback? Uh, no, you get miles. That's yeah, what, uh, I'm, that's what I'm doing. I, I tell Dana to do it. I mean, she just won't listen to me, dude. I'm just, I don't even know. And anyway. You get free flights with it. So I get there, right? I get there. And I'm I'm group six. I'm, I'm like, dude, like, why are there six groups getting on this plane? <laughs> Like, there should be three at the most. Load everybody into the, the, the three groups. We don't need six groups. So group one, group two, who are these people? Who are they? When do they check in? Well, it's, it's people with I'm status. I'm angry Seinfeld. It's status. People with status. Yeah. I'll fight everybody, Well, dude. first it's usually military and people with babies and shit like that. And then and and then people who like fly a shit ton, or people who bought first class, they board in the first group. It's just ridiculous. So, so you never get upgraded or anything as much never, as you fly. That's, dude, I get upgraded. I, I, I half tell the times Dana, I fly. put me on Delta, or I'm gonna lose it. I don't care because she's like, there's all these connectors. I'm like, I don't care. I'll, I mean, I do hate connecting, dude, because you're sucks, just yeah. running through there. Where are you going? I never connect. I could fly a direct flight. LA's yeah, got yeah. direct flights everywhere almost. Yeah, but some places you got to connect, I guess some smaller bro. places, yeah. I'm just connecting out there. Just connecting. So anyways, so I, I, uh, I go there. I'm group six. I'm like last. That I'm sucks. like, come on, man. So I get there. All of a sudden it goes boop, 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 boop. 
I'm like, no, what? I'm like, I'm convinced oh at this point, Homeland Security's got me. I'm uh -huh. like, I, every time I hear uh, an alarm go off, I could be leaving Target, and I'm like, oh, they got me. Best Buy got me. I'm fucked. They got me. I'm going to the gulags. What, what happened? I go, I, and I just start yelling at this woman that I don't believe in conspiracies. I'm just like, <laughs> I, dude, one person took out JFK. That's all. Was it after the scanner? You went through the scanner? Is that what it was? I know. I went through the scanner. I was getting onto the plane. I was boarding, and the, and uh, then it happened. Yeah, boop boop oh, boop. I've never boop. I'm like, what is that? She goes, "We've moved your seat." I go, "What?" Mm -hmm. She goes, "Yeah, now you row 15." I'm like, "Woo, woo!" I'm like the Jeffersons. Well, row, I'm you? Yeah, I was row 27. Oh, okay. So I'll get into this. So I do row, row 27, right? And um. So they give me my thing. They're like, you're row 15 now. I'm like, yeah, dude, I moved way up. I'm the Jeffersons. Let's go, dude. So I get on the plane. By the way, you can't use that reference at all anymore. None of the kids know what the Jeffersons are. No. Nobody no. knows who the Jeffersons are. Nobody no. knows moving on up. No. I, it's, I, it's funny that for people, I think my age and older, it, that song is just stuck in your head for yeah. the rest <laughs> of your life forever. Right. And it's so sad these kids don't ever get to watch this. But they'll never watch in it the now. Sky. <laughs> I'm Dude, I'm in the sky. <laughs> Moving on up. Moving on Do you remember Good Times? No, see, that's, no, that's before. I mean, I know what it is. Look up Good Times, man. Things, the but... sister had the biggest tits, and I loved her. Yeah, we've done this before, I actually. Care. Do it again, Johnny. Do it again. Because I remember I had to, uh, it was Bernadette Stannis, I think. Oh, yeah. Johnny, you're so good at this. Anyways, <laughs> so I, I, I get I get my, I get my, uh, my, my. Right here. Oh, yeah, I love her. I love her. She's a sister. She's just fat racks. And it's just crazy to me that, like, did she do anything? At, look at that. Look at that. That's why I knew I loved chocolate women. Oh, yeah, That's why I knew I good, loved huh? black women. Look at her. I loved her. I loved her. Like, she's really thin for that era, too. That's like a modern shape. You yeah. You didn't see that much. You're back totally then. right. And she, look, she's been hot forever. Now she's 70. I bet you some guys would still hit oh, it. Oh, dude. You, black really doesn't crack. But black that's doesn't. not just a myth. We've it's talked about it before. Black skin only craw sun. cracks in their hands. That's the only place it cracks. Because their skin handles the Oh, she's the been sun. working. Yeah. Well, I mean, has she? I don't know. Let's see what this is. Uh, oh, they the, did a Good Times, like, uh, co a comeback Good Times. It's like a cartoon, actually. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, Peaches, keep voice. going down. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I mean she's always know, working. Major hits, like, Dreams from the Edge, The Urbans, <laughs> Johnny, the shut shot. your mouth. Black Jesus. Oh, she's Jesus. not Black Jesus. What the hell is Black Jesus? What is that? Don't you don't remember Black Jesus? He'd be like walking around Compton Wait, is and stuff. That, oh, that's uh That was late night on uh on uh Gerald Silk Johnson, John Witherspoon's in this. A lot of funny black people are in this. Lots of funny blacks. Is are you serious you know what this is? Yeah. I I I, I never, never watched it. it, but I knew it. Look at look at Sonia Eddie, dog. She ain't fucking around, dude. She ain't fucking around. Did she around. really make me scroll down? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But look at look at Tyree, Elaine, dude. Let's baby. go. Let's go, baby. You gotta, if you have a black show, you gotta have a baby. You gotta That's have kind of the rule. Baby. Isn't it? So Johnny, black so, Jesus, man. So 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 uh, like, and I was in the back, in the in the in the in the back, and it's like I, I'm always in the back. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this story. You love being in the back. Every time I fly, it's always me surrounded by elderly black handicapped women. That's it's always that's it. Always. Always. Is that who likes to be in the back? They love it. They yeah. love it. They're always in the back. And uh and just remember this story. So I um so I walk on, I'm feeling like a million dollars. I get in and bang. This is your big upgrade. <laughs> My big upgrade. <laughs> emergency row. I'm at the emergency oh, row that's now. Best, yeah. No, no, I you got, got extra a job. Leg room. No, you got extra I got leg room. a job, Johnny. You got like broccoli or something in your teeth, bud. That is really rude, Johnny. No, I mean you you would want me to tell you. It's like a big thing. Dude, you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. I do want you to tell me. You see it? Holy shit. I just that was it. crazy. So I've been doing this whole show with fucking something. I, think, I, I didn't notice before now, but maybe it just moved there. Well, Johnny, I'm Ooh, both. I'm watching I'm both, you chew it, and it's like giving me the willies. Johnny, I'm both Brr. excited, thankful, and I hate you right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's I a have, weird feeling. I have the whole <laughs> spectrum of feelings for you right now. 
I'm so happy, though. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. All right. So now I got a job. You is got a job. You, is it how you felt when you sat down and realized it was the emergency? No, when I saw what 50, I saw, I saw the door. I'm like, oh, God, now I got responsibilities. <laughs> I just went, he could have been so, like that black lady and just been like, nope, not doing it. Remember? Yeah, and then I never get to fly ever. <laughs> get arrested. Right? Like, and then they, as soon as you sit down, they send the sassiest of the flight attendants to just grill you right there. They're like, oh, can you do your, can you do your responsibilities? Can you? Is that, is that what they said? Can you do your responsibilities? <laughs> can, you, can you fulfill your responsibilities? They charge more for the exit row, though. That's a huge upgrade to the exit row. You get more leg room in the exit row. Well, I would like the option. Oh, okay, yeah. Fair so enough. So she's like, yeah. can you fulfill your responsibilities sitting in the row? I'm like, can I? Yeah. Will I? Probably not. <laughs> I have super heavy legs. Down. This thing goes down. I'm... I'm kicking grandmas. I'm chucking babies, dude. Just me and D cups getting out of this place, right? Yeah. Like, and it's so crazy, Johnny. Like, they spend like five minutes teaching you how to use a seatbelt, but they don't tell you how to use the space door, like the the shuttle door. Tell me yeah. how to open this thing. Well, they know. They know you're not. Yeah, they know you're not gonna make it they out. Know. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even go through the pageantry. Uh -huh. It's okay, if we go down, you're going to grab this handle, you're going to yank it. You're going to yank it. That's why you can't. You know, if you sit in that row, you're not allowed to close the window until after takeoff. It's because they, they say you need to be able to see out in case of the emergency. In case but, of what? Yeah. What am I going to do? Who am I And that I'm sitting in this row? That's so dumb. Yeah. I'm just going to sit in this row? Like, I'm a, I'm a crippling drug addict. Like, you have... You <laughs> with put, super heavy legs. With, uh, dude, I did drugs and I have super heavy legs and you want me to be saving everybody? Nah. Not happening. Not happening. It's like, dude, I should be have to take some online course. When's the last time you swam? That's what I want to know. What do you mean? Like in the event of a sully, a water landing. <laughs> like what? I mean, you got super heavy legs. You go straight to the bottom. You <laughs> I've been blocks. swimming a lot, dude. Have you been recently? Yeah, I take okay. my kids to the pool almost oh, every day. Enough. All right, they love it. But dude, it's like, yeah. It's like, what are you, the Secret Service? You're just hiring anyone to do these jobs? Like, there's no training. Oh, yeah, dude, I've been next to some really, really old people in the exit row, and I'm like, you can't. You wouldn't be able to do shit for anybody. What are you doing here? Like, I, I once next, sat, sat next to somebody who had, a like, a cast. Had to be, like, eight, at least 80 years old. This old woman with a cast on her right arm. <laughs> and they came around, and she's like, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah, no, this Come is all on. bullshit. This thing goes down. You're like, not you, doing it. You yeah. think any I'm doing all the work. I know it. <laughs> Dude, I'm saving strangers that I don't even care about. Yeah, yeah, that's your. That's why they pay you, flight attendant. Yeah, that's they, your job. Yeah, they should put a guy and just your whole row is hot chicks. Yeah. Oh. That's what it should be. Big dudes who are shredded and hot chicks. Might get you to stay there if they did that. And that's one hundred percent. Then the guy, the, my like, uh, then like on the flight back. Oh, so first of all, I get into Kansas City, and then they have the whole chaos. They, what, with what, the uh, oh, with the flights going canceled. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, yeah we just haven't shut down. So I had that to pay for a whole new flight to get out of Kansas City at a reasonable time, so I could get back to my kids. So what happens is we go in. They see it's the only flight leaving early enough, which is like ten thirty. Yeah. Goes in. Uh it's sold out. So, Who goes in? What are you saying goes in? What do you mean? So Dana uses a, a, a traveling agent to help oh, her oh, make gotcha, some shit gotcha, happen. Gotcha, gotcha. And she goes, and they look at the flight sold out. Oh, no. And then Dustin goes on, and and a, like later in the day, two tickets opened. Just two. Bang! Snagged it. What Got day out. of the week are we talking here? We're talking Sunday morning. Oh, so you're trying to get back for the weekends. All right, gosh. I'm trying to get back home to my kids. On Sunday, so I can hang with them. What you a know? nightmare to have your flight canceled. Oh, the worst. And then you got to pay a big chunk. Stuck in Kansas City in an airport. I mean, Kansas City's great. I mean, the city is excellent. Kansas City is excellent. Good Kansas food. City's where you go if you're looking for a wife. Yeah, I've heard you say that. Before. Miami's Breeding where you stock. go. Miami's where you go if you're looking for a night. Kansas City's where you go where you're looking for a wife. A they're wife all, that won't take all your they're money. They're all and super you. cute. And they're all wife material in Kansas City. They all just want to get married. That's all they want to do. Yeah. They want to have your baby. 
That, that, would you call it breeding stock one time? I think you said. Yeah, that. yeah, it, it is. It's the, it's the capital breeding stock. I've never been to a place where there's more gorgeous eights in my life. It's really kind of Midwest meets like city life. That Yeah, Kansas 100%. City, yeah. Now, you don't want nines and tens. You don't want to marry nines and tens. They're never going to be happy. Uh, I beg to differ, but go ahead. Okay. I mean, like, dude, it's just like all day she's just getting bombarded on her social media. You could yeah. be doing better. You could be doing better. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you gotta find you a, you gotta a ten, find one that won't do something. If you get a ten, you gotta put a kid right in there. You gotta put a kid yeah, right in like there. A, she's the equivalent of an NBA athlete. For yeah, sure. you gotta put a kid in there and saddle her down. And just hope she knock her down to an eight point five. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hope she keeps the a few points, you know. She doesn't get too right? high. You're like, Oh, you're gonna leave me? Take my kid with you. There you go. That's rough. Yeah, you're right though, dude. How many of those like especially celebrities, they're really hot women. Like they're all divorced. If you think about it, they all get divorced. Like first of all, never marry a a a, 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 a famous woman. Yeah, it's just never gonna work. No, no, none of them work. I mean, none it's crazy, of them isn't work. It? None of them. None of them work because they have so many assistants telling, co- co-signing on their fucking crazy. And also, Bro. they're in, at different sets. You know, if they're and actors, they're constantly yeah. getting bombarded by dick. I, I'm trying to think of it like if if uh, if it's like fifty percent still. Johnny, let me ask you something. The divorce rate it must be like eighty percent. It's gotta be super hot. What? It, let's say a unknown ten hits you up, or a, a famous chick hits you up. Which one are you more excited about? How hot is a famous chick? I mean, let's say she's uh, like an eight. What's she famous for? Uh let's say your favorite. Uh, uh ch- your favorite music. St- Hottie on like your favorite like uh, uh let's say community or or um parks and rec or something like that. Who's a brunette that kind of t- Aubrey oh, something? Yeah, Aubrey Plaza. Aubrey Plaza or a unknown smoking ten. Well, Aubrey Plaza is really funny, so I had I have to account for that. Yeah, I'd probably go with her. Yeah. Oh, I like that. But it's a debate. It's a real debate. Yeah, it's not ob- it's not obvious. It's no. not as but simple. But you picked a very specific example, which I think is kind of a lot of guys really like her. Yeah, like I mean, she's got great. Okay, Johnny. So here's another example. Would you rather be stuck at a desert island with a Holocaust denier or a, a pedophile? Oh, a Holocaust denier. <laughs> Come on, it's obvious. That used to be a lot harder. No, yeah, that was not. like three years ago. Yeah. You're like, oh, dude, that's a hard. That's a no, hard. No, no, no. Hard you mean, would I rather be on a desert island with, like, half the people we know or, or a pedophile? Yeah. Uh, or half the people yeah, in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's like, so, yeah, yeah. So I got back, and it was crazy. And, like, so Southwest now is going to start giving us signed seats because everyone bitched. It's, oh, is that what it's for? Yeah, because uh, we no, did that no, story no, no. on. They're going to start doing it. Well, no, but we did that story on Cash Days about them starting a signed seat. Yeah, and yeah, is that yeah. why, though? Yeah, because everybody that. cries. Everyone cries. Wow, I don't know where I'm fitting. It's like it's great. So so on the ride back, the, the whole place is sold out, right? I again I because I got in Southwest, I'm like one of the last people to get a oh, seat. Oh, you came back on Southwest, I guess. Right? Okay. So I came back on Southwest. I'm in uh, group C, like th- 38. I've never flown Southwest. Never. I like it. Group group C 38. I'm deep into this. They were the only place that wasn't affected by this, you know, because their system is so, so old. old. Yeah. yeah, I love yeah. that. that I love that. I love that, dude. <laughs> Good. Yeah, go back to it's the past. My, it's my theory about the downs and AI. Downs are going to be the only ones that are going to be able to not be affected by AI. Well, because they don't use technology? Yeah, they just don't. It doesn't affect them. And they're they're leveling up, Johnny. Wait, so they say, like, the, how they judge, like, how... Hmm, I'm trying to say this delicately. How mentally incapacitated you are i guess is by your how special your, you are how special you are is your age like mental age right so who uses phones more than children i'm guessing the downs are on devices is what i'm I, I i don't i don't think maybe maybe they put them on i mean my my kid's uh autistic she's on it I mean, they love it. The kids love the, the I mean, devices. I mean, I don't, I don't ever They're see addicted. them. I've never seen a video of them on, on, on any kind of pad. The downs are just. Yeah, hey, I love that you call them pads. That's so funny to me. The downs are the downs are just learning jujitsu and the the learning Krav Maga. They're weightlifting. They're doing yoga. Look at these downs. 
Oh, okay, Johnny. So I guess there are some downs on phones. They look like they're really into it, too. Look at this. They're doing a TikTok right here. Look at that, dude. Look at the downs. They're rising, bro. The downs this are rising. This could be a new development, though. Let's see if they do iPads. Oh, yeah, there they are. I mean, look they're going to learn on stuff, but I'm just telling you. They love it. Look, the downs love iPad. The d <laughs> they love it more than an iPhone. Look at them. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. No, you you you're wrong on this. They love it. They just put it in a little like protective case like that. And then but they, they to they're definitely leveling up. They love elephants too, apparently. Look at <laughs> they let this one fly a plane. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. The downs are flying planes now. Unbelievable. They're so advanced. They're not your grandpa's downs. We need a t-shirt. The downs are rising. That's I'm so telling you, the downs are <laughs> rising, bro. Uh -oh. They're not fucking around. It's Friday night, folks. We were a little bit, <laughs> we were a little bit weird tonight. Why are we being the weird? The traffic was un. Dude, it took me 40 minutes to get here. Uh, that should take 15 minutes drive. Yeah, well, it on is a Friday fr night. It's a Friday night. Is, that's is that a bad night? Yeah, for everybody's oh, out, out and about, Fuck going to the clubs, people. doing Fuck all, all the these shit. People in their clubs. Yeah. Man. This town. We got here guys working on the place. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. No parking. People There's were, no par what please give us the schedule. There's never parking here. Please give us the freaking Not schedule. Only need it. Right? Bro, I I don't know even know what to tell you right now. Except, what else you been up to? Oh Johnny. Okay. So so the downs are rising, right? We know it. Yeah, okay. We, we proved it. So I, I I have this bit at the end talking about the downs rising. And it's like I, I want to get into this thing too because it kind of gets into something that happened with me and Jason Ellis last night. But so so this bit at the end, you mean your set the other night? Yeah, okay. my my sets. I end talking about the downs and how great they're doing, and they're not your grandpa's downs. <laughs> they're evolving. <laughs> they're getting skills. That's it. They're, they're 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 rising. Okay. <laughs> get ready, folks. Right. They're get ready. Coming for you. They come for your jobs. Every show, every show in Kansas City, I work with special needs people. Oh, God. And I'm like, yeah, you're doing great. Then you know better than you anybody. Guys, uh, yeah. By the way, you guys are crushing it. <laughs> and there, I know there's somebody in, every time. It's like, I know somebody in the crowd. You work with special needs. You took that way too hard. You think I'm making fun of them. I just want to shake your hand after the show because you are raising the resistance. <laughs> you are raising the every time just getting angry. Getting angry. Then one of my fans was, I work with special needs. I go, yeah, you're doing great. My daughter's autistic. She's crushing there it. it. Is, yeah. There we go. She's crushing it. I know you guys do a great job. Thank you. And my joke is it, it's talking about how amazing they are. Yeah. It's really a really credit are, to you. Yeah. It really is a credit to uh, Dude, we salute all the special needs teachers out there. We salute you. For <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, special needs people. Thank you. You're great. Yeah. So anyways, right. So so I did a show last night with Jason Ellis. And I'm going to tell you guys something about Jason oh, Ellis. Oh, I saw his promo for it. Yeah, it was funny where he's getting punched in the face. <laughs> I'm telling you something about Jason Ellis. I'm going to be honest with you. There's very rarely do I see somebody I go, oh, they're even money. And the even money means like if you go, like can you explain from a, be a betting uh, uh, point of view. It's a 50 50. It's a coin flip whether it's going, the bet's going to pay or not. Yeah. Well, it's basically that it's like guaranteed almost to like in a weird way, right? Wouldn't you say like. No, even money would be like it's 50 50, like coin flip. Okay. I always thought even money was like, okay, you're going to. my How I use it because I must be using it wrong, but I always use it as like it's almost guaranteed. Let me make sure I'm right. Hold on. Let's see what you. Even money refers to a bet where the potential payout is equal to the amount wagered. That means if you win an even money bet, you would receive back your original stake. The odds for an even money bet are expressed as one to one, so that would be plus one hundred. Yeah, that's so that's like even money. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's like so a half. A half. It's like going, hey, Mike Tyson versus Pee Wee Herman. Mike Tyson is. It's like when someone says, "What?" Well, uh, yeah, an even money bet is a fifty-fifty bet, right? It's fifty. So you're saying there's like there is likely to succeed as not, which yeah. I, I, Oh, that's what you always yeah, meant, yeah, right? yeah. They're 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 gonna make it. Basically, that's my well, opinion. Okay, so that would be like a lock. You would say they're a lock. Okay, or, so I'm gonna change it from I'm gonna change it from even money. Well, even money to me is great though, because yeah. even money. No, most people have like a one in a million shot. Yeah, I mean, like saying, nobody's guaranteed to make it, 
But if I go, I'd say they're even money to make it. That they're gonna. They're, it's yeah. more likely. I more think. likely than. Well, I, the whole point is that I've said it to, about a couple people, and every one of them blew up. Everyone, I'm very specific about who I say is even money. And in the past, now, Jason Elsa, you just started saying that about him. Or? Hold on, it's it's Taylor Tomlinson. Yeah, you've done this many times. It Taylor is Tomlinson. It's uh, Tiffany Haddish, Punky, Punky Johnson, and, and um. And Gerard Carmichael. And Gerard. Now, are you adding him just now? Or you've I am now said officially about adding Jason Ellis. Is he the oldest member of this crew? He is the oldest member of that group. He's the Rodney Dangerfield Yeah, of this the group? next oldest would be probably Punky, just because she wasn't doing stand-up forever. You know? Because he's got to be like your age, right? He's no, he's a year older. But, bro, I watched him last night fucking shred. Like, Shred. And I've always said there's going to be a gay comedian who's uh, going to cross over to straight crowds, him, right? And Jason is, let's just say, heteroflexible. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Jason's heteroflexible. Yeah. I don't. I don't think he's doing any of that anymore. But he did it. Okay. Oh, is he not? He's off of it. He's off. I. Uh, he's off. I. I don't think he's doing any of the OnlyFans stuff anymore. I think he's trying to vibrate in a higher level. Oh no, I thought you, I. I meant like the the dick is what I was. Saying. I. I don't know if that's it. And I. I. I you got listen. It's a weird conversation. Yeah, in it terms is a weird of, conversation. Well, because because like I've lost friends who I think were gay and didn't and couldn't come to grips with it. Yeah. So I'm very like you got to be you. You know, you got to be yeah. you. That's just my opinion. And, you know, whatever that means is to you, that means to you. And well, it doesn't hurt in this business either. To- well, that's why I like I watched him, and it was Jason's fans. But, bro, that guy was so smooth on stage talking about the craziest shit ever. Oh, and that was him going 45, 40, 50 minutes into a show, closing it out after Ian Edwards and myself went up. And then when you Crazy. look up the... Uh, the uh, the the uh, X game talking heads. Will you look them up? Jason Ellis has done it. There's another guy on there. What am I looking up? Just look up black guy who does uh, who does uh, the best X games announcer ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Do that. Do like X game announcers. No, I mean, is that is it this video right? Here? This? No, that's not him. That's not him. That's neither. Go X game announcers. X games announcers. Yeah, that's him right here. So, so this Salima is Masakela. Yeah, this is this, this is uh uh-huh. this is Jason Ellis's good friend who he, you know which is a great example of how like the, there are any I like I've always liked him. I've always liked him, but it was very interesting because he went there to support Jason. Jason was doing Brea. I wouldn't normally drive out for that. I I do those gigs for friends, right? Friends need me out. I'll go drive. You don't. It's not about money. You're just supporting friends. Like I love the the, the Smash Brothers, so they'll ask me to do their their dirty show. So I'll go do it. I, I love doing it. It's a blessing. Uh, so Jason Ellis, who I love, uh, you know, Jason will tell you, I got him into comedy. Yet another one. I, I told him to oh, do really? stand up. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. It was on Kill Tony or some show on like. Uh, 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 you should do Stern. Your mom, your your mom's house. Yeah, I told him, like, dude, you gotta do stand up. Dude, the guy's been fucking grinding. Do it, yeah. dude. Jason Ellis is fearless. Now, I've always said this. There's. Have we talked about the Elvis factor? Uh, on the uh, show, I don't remember. Really. There, it's everything is energy. Everything is energy. Yeah. You can work your ass off and everything. It's energy. It's energy. The notion, like, uh, are you plug and play or whatever you do? Like, okay, let me get into this real quick. So there's this whole thing out there that some people that I think are hilarious, you're starting to see, like, videos going, is this guy funny? Is is, is he funny? Right? What, you mean, like, saying they're not funny? Yeah. Right? Okay. Like, like... Uh, you know, like you, I've seen a couple videos pop up on my feed about Joe Rogan. Oh, come on. Yeah, they're like, is Joe Rogan actually funny? Let me tell you something real quick. I've so there have been four there's been three sets I've seen in my life that have absolutely annihilated. Four. I'll say four. The first one, the in no order, okay? No order. That you remember. Too. I'm sure you've forgotten a couple back in your old party. Yeah, but days. The, we're we're like really like it's stuck in your head. Yeah, yeah, where I'm like, holy shit! 
For one was Dane Cook at, at, at Dublin's. I've said this before. Dane Cook at Dublin's is the one of the greatest comics you will ever see in your life at, at, at any moment. I mean, just annihilating rooms. Yeah, you mentioned him before. Okay. Right? The next one is Burt Kreischer at Comedy Chaos. When he was doing his bit about Starbucks and racism and getting a gun, I've never seen anyone crush that hard. I'm being honest with you. And I'm a comedy lover, but I also don't like fall for the tricks. Like, you know, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see through shit. I go, okay, this guy's just playing the stereotypes and paradigms and... Crowd got, work, all that stuff. Burt Kreischer. The, the other one was Felipe Esparza. When, he had the, when we both opened for uh we did Russell Peters they didn't this is how great Russell Peters is they did an extra episode of his show on Showtime and they he gave up his wardrobe money to f pay for me and Felipe to do stand up oh that's sweet what a nice guy and dude i am telling you they go okay Felipe's going to go first you're going to go second i go oh, okay okay Felipe goes up, dude, and you remember that scene in in, in Bloodsport where where Van Damme hears Tom Poe kicking the cinder blocks? Yeah. And he's like, what is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just walks over and he's just like, Dish. Yeah. Dish. that was Felipe Esparza. Now, I hadn't done stand-up on TV forever, so I had guns a-coming. Any other person would have bought at that moment. He annihilated. And I had to go up with everything I've ever learned in that OR and fuck... And follow. <laughs> That's so funny. Though. So so, and then the last one is Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan at the at, in Toronto. It's the greatest set I've ever seen. It was it was during the George St Pierre uh, UFC fight when when they were playing the giant fucking dome there. It was the first time the UFC I think had been in the Canada. What were you doing there? I was open. It was uh, it was oh, so funny. Right. Okay. It was it was George St. Pierre, Jake Shields fight. What year was that? I, I'm looking up George St. Pierre, Jake Shields, Toronto. Uh one of the greatest, one of the the greatest I've ever seen. That crowd was so hot. 2011. And Joe Rogan is so fucking good. Here's the problem with comedy, and I've been thinking a lot about this. Okay. And this is what I've noticed. Everyone's like, oh, these people blow up, those people. You know who blows up, Johnny? Normies. Normies who do comedy for normies. That's who blows up. Most of your comedy that you're seeing in arenas are normies doing comedy to normies. Right? What do you mean by that? What, what I'm saying that, like, like... are you counting, like, Bert and guys, are they normies? Is yeah, 100%. Okay. 100%. And, like, don't, this is not bad. I, I somehow wish I was that. Right? Oh, I got you. I get what you're saying. Right? Okay. I yeah, wish yeah. I was a normie. So so you have the spectrum of comedy. I'd say 80% of the spectrum of comedy is normies. Right? And then on the end, you have two, 10%. The fringe, yeah. The fringe. And the on on the far left is is like the um Hollywood Hannah Gatsby. Alt Hannah Gatsby, where witty is more important than hilarious. Rich kids, social justice. Uh, and it's usually not even that witty, most of it. It's right? not, but it's like this, just this, 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 this uh, the private idea school matters kid, more. right? Yeah. The like, the, the di diversity is more important than it's more anything. Like spoken word. It was like, it, it's the comedy that destroyed television, right? Like yeah, all these yeah. guys who got shows and the, the 80% in the middle didn't get it. So they didn't watch it. Yeah. And then people stopped watching and it. And everyone can say whatever they want. Okay, but on the timeline I was at that time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the timeline that I was at that time. <laughs> what a funny thing. NBC about. had fallen to fifth after like Telemundo. <laughs> because their main comedy shows were bombing so bad. And now they're cult favorites like Park and Rack and, and Community and all that stuff. But they weren't doing well. They got low numbers and they killed NBC. That that that's the far ten. On the other end is the dark and edgy, right? It's the dark and edgy, and th the eighty percent doesn't get that either. Rouse you? The, no, but it's not even like that. It's like Rogan, Doug Stanhope. Oh, you think Rogan's over there? Huh? I think Rogan's in the dark and edgy. Okay. 
Rogan is a wordsmith and a master. Okay? You watch him, and he always has the perfect line for the perfect joke. And he's always Great. working on it. He's always this notion that he's not funny. I don't know where it comes from. It's, bitter it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my bitter life. Idiots. It's he is a savage on stage. And the reason most people don't get it, because they're fucking normies. And they th and dude, and I, say I don't this think one. most people you're saying most people don't get it though. Like uh, his appeal is broad. No, I no, think no, it's no, just no, idiots. no, 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 no. I'm just saying the people, the people, you're totally right. You're totally right. I, I don't. I'm not saying that most people don't get it. Most people do get it. He's playing theaters, but the people who don't get it, they're fucking normies, and they think comedy is meant to be fucking patty cakes, and it's meant to be fucking wiggle shit. Most of your really big theater shit is wiggle shit. It's really wiggle shit because it's normie shit. None of that comes on my radar either. I don't see any of that stuff. It's crazy to me. Like fluffy. It, I've never seen a fluffy. But bit but or anything. fluffy's great. They're all great. Oh, I'm know, not yeah. saying anything I mean, negative to that. Fantastic. That there's no negative in this. It's just like when I see people saying stupid shit about Rogan not being funny. I go, you don't even know how ridiculously stupid that statement is. He's so fucking fun. He's a great writer. He's a he's a wordsmith. He works on every part of it. And he's like, dude. He never. He was always at the comedy store every fucking night. He could have gone in any era too. I really think that. There's he, not a lot of guys who could do that, and I'm telling you, there's only a couple. I, I would put him at two that could that could thrive right now from the past, and that is Sam Kenson and Dice. Those are the only two that you can go Ooh, way Dice. back there. Okay, you think Dice? I think you Dice think bangs right now. He would have had his same act. You think right now would would bang? I mean, that wouldn't seem very dated. You don't think that? Well, I mean, if he did Hickory, that's what I'm say. saying. Are you saying the act could come into today, like well, if it was new? No, and, no, no. They're they're their comedy. Okay, like they could have tailored yes. themselves to. Okay, Sam yeah. Kenson, if you gave him, but Andrew Dice Clay's alive right now, so we know that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like he has been able to successfully transfer to this new age. Yeah, yeah. I w I would like. I it, that's. Hicks dying and just devastates because I would love to have seen. Yeah, what but he the would question be doing right becomes: now. Can could Carlin? Which way would Carlin go? Well, we know Car what kind of what Carlin did too. He got more, a little more bitter, a little darker. Well, the question is because could he change with the times? Because we've seen a lot of liberals he changed, that can. Though, speaking of people who changed, like he changed wildly from you know his how he started the weatherman bit and all that stuff to. So yeah, he, I mean, maybe I don't think he would. He would always be a liberal, though. He would be. Yeah, but that's the question. Yeah. Like the liberal right now, it has no ability to see that the censorship is coming from their side now. I'm trying to think of examples. Right? I'm an old school. I, I'm. A, I don't know what. I, like I'm a libertarian. I'm socially libertarian. You know, it's like I, I, I'm a Christian. I'm trying my best to live that way. I'm trying hard, but. You know, I'm also like, you go live your life, and what you do with consenting adults is none of my business. I mean, shit, dude, I would have thought Mara would have been, would have set his heels in, but he's come a long way. And if anybody, I but mean, he that can guy only was, go so far. It's not right, until right, he right. loses that show can he go full wake up with his, with his, he had to hawk to a girl. Just, uh, I mean, it's, I don't it's hate that girl. Uh, Somebody uh, tried to say she's Ashkenazi now. Did you see that? Oh, is she really? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, okay, okay. there we go. You're the, all the blonde Ashkenazi Jews out there. Yeah. I, I don't even know. But the point is that they don't get it. Joe Rogan has a huge following because he's a great comic. He's a great comic. When I see all the time people like in their social media profiles, like, don't add me if you're a fan of Joe Rogan. Yeah, it's so stupid. And if you guys think I'm doing it to kiss his ass, it's been two years since I've been on the show. It's and it was eight years before that. So you well, know what? I, I did I his MMA. Really quick, what, uh, full disclosure, ahead. I did do his MMA show. So that, and, yeah, that counts. That so, counts. So yeah, that's so, really popular. Yeah. So so the point is this: Joe Rogan is great, but there's a bunch of people that don't get the middle. I mean, the middle that doesn't get. Edgy. They don't understand it. They think they take it literal. So yeah. I'm doing this show with Jason Ellis. I do my joke about the uh, getting on the plane. I want to sit in the back with the elderly, handicapped black women. Yeah. And then I do my bit. Uh, and then I talk about how I love trans. Michelle Obama's great. 
I got this bit I can't get to work. It's about how Hollywood is turning all these historical characters gay. But the minute you you mention, and they're like, hey, everyone just Jesus, which is blasphemy. And then you got Hitler who did speed. They call that the queer juice, right? And then the final one is uh, is Abraham Lincoln and his fucking deer antler butt, right? Dude, imagine hitting that, dude. It's got to just be mean? bones. It's <laughs> just bones. It's got deer antlers for oh, ass, he- <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> Right. Oh, Imagine yeah. hitting that. That's got to be the uh, worst. I love how you assume he's the bottom. Yeah, I mean, like, isn't that kind of the dynamic, though? It's like you, the more, you can't be that tall and be a bottom. <laughs> uh, that would be the worst. You need a stepladder <laughs> to bang Abraham yeah. Lincoln like in the fucking ass. A horse. Yeah. Right? Uh, so, so I do that joke, and, 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 just, and then I go, but yet they, get, they freak out when you tell them Obama's gay. And then yeah. they're like, how dare you? It's <laughs> like, what? I just don't get it. I'm like, why are you upset? You're turning so everyone from the past gay. And this guy who's like off in his chefs, you don't even get, you get so bar hurt about, literally. <laughs> So I did those two jokes. And then I had my bit about how everybody's uh, re-re, right? Retarded. We know what that means. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I list black people in it. So then the guy from, so for some reason, I don't know, the guy from uh, that's from X Games. Oh, that guy. I yeah, do yeah. my set. Nice. I, I, get, I get two jokes on there that I want to cut up and put out. Because uh, the, the downs are rising. I want to put that out. And then I want to put a joke that didn't make my special, which is done, everybody. So we're just trying to figure out when we're going to put it out. Oh, I thought you named a date the other day. You don't know yet? No. No. I think it's going to be some... What's the thinking in that? Like, what are you factoring in? Like, other stuff coming out? Or is it just... my schedule. Oh, okay. I'm going to be able to run around and uh, promote it. I got you. I got you. So, 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 I go... I go, I, I finish my set. It's a great set. I had a couple moment dips. I, it's just like, I, I, I'm pressing people. Hey, guys, real quick, mangosamtruth.com. Check out my website. We have all of our awesome affiliates there. And my dates. I'm going to be having the com- uh, Tuesday night, two shows. Burt Kreischer, Bobby Lee, Todd Berry. In the first show, Andrew Santino, Murderers. Esther Brzezinski, Murderers. Second show, Burt Kreischer, Bobby Lee. And we got a whole bunch of other. Oh, Tony Rock, uh, Josh Wolf, uh, nothing. Blair Saki, who I think is the future. She's hilarious. So it's a great lineup. Come hang out. Then I got Long Beach. Uh, I got, I'm at Jam the Water in Long Beach. And then I'm going on the road a lot, but I got some more dates coming up. Just go to and enjoy. So I, I go to say, the, uh, this guy, Billy, who is a. Uh, who, um, he did a sober show with me in Hollywood. He's uh he's like working at the comedy store. What's a sober show? Where sober comics go up in front of sober people. Oh really? Yeah. So didn't know it was a thing. Yeah. So he uh he, I go to bring up Billy and Billy doesn't come out. This guy comes out. The X Games guy comes Salima out. Salima Masakela comes out and he's giving me a weird look, and I don't know what the look is. Do the look to the camera. I see. Okay. And it's a weird look because... Standoffish. I would say he wants well, no, the crowd to register like, that he's like... Oh. So, so Johnny, it, what's really weird is like when you have fans, right? And I learned this when I had uh, Wild World of Spike. It was the first time I saw this. Sometimes people stare at you and you go, do they want to fight me? Yeah, yeah. And they're really just kind of in awe of what... That they're actually like you're they're big fans of you and you're right there in front of them. They're kinda yeah. like, holy shit. Right? So he's giving me this look, and I'm like, is this guy a fan? Is why is he giving me this look? And I'm like, hey dude. He's on stage? He's walking on stage. He's gonna introduce Jason. Okay. So he walks up on stage, he's like, hey, I'm blah blah blah. Dude, give it up for that racist shit I just heard. Oh. I drove all this way for that racism. I mean, why don't you be a little bit more racist? I'll go, okay, dude. What did I say? It's racist. Were you still on stage at this point? No, I was okay. walked off stage. And did you shout back to him or no? You were no, 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 no. Because I don't want to. I don't want to do anything on yeah, Jason's yeah. night. I got you. It's yeah. Jason's show. I don't want to cause chaos. I don't want to get in a big argument with a guy. I, 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 I used to watch him on the show. I actually like him, but it's just like what did I say racist. Oh, that Michelle Obama has licorice stick. What is that offensive to you? Like, what are you talking about? The, by the way, can we just say the line for what is racist has moved so far Johnny, over the past so 30 or 40 ridiculous. years. I mean, so it's crazy. you see how long this guy is on uh, how long he's been 
He began his career as an intern at Trans World Publications. Whatever, TW. I don't think that's something what I think it is. No, it's not. And it, then he served as an NBA sideline reporter for ESPN 0304. Okay. Uh, and then he's the host. Uh, I'm trying break to get down to this. Break down this time. He real was quick. also host of both the X Games and the Winter X Games for 13 years, but left in 2012 to work for NBC. Uh, Okay, he did the World Cup. I don't know if he's still at the X Games or what. Yeah. I don't think he's still at the X Games. But he's been working forever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, since 92. Yeah. Since 92, he's been working. And he had been at the X Games for 13 years in 2012. So he started the X Games in 99. And he's like, he's like, he's doing jokes about Trump and he doesn't know. Uh, if, uh, I forget what he did jokes about, like, oh, uh, just the racism of Trump and yeah. shit like that. Like, what are you talking about? That word used You've to mean something. You've been famous forever. Ever, dude. You were famous before there was an internet. Yeah. Yeah. I just like, what are you talking about, bro? And this is my whole thing. Like, I'm so fucked right now on Twitter, dude. Because I put that, that fucking profile pic up and they're taking their sweet time with it. So it's still there, right? My Twitter uh, profile pic. Oh, with the N-word on the t-shirt? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize you put it. Oh, that's funny. By yeah. the way, his father is Hugh Masekela, who's like a famous uh, jazz musician. Okay. And so, what I'm saying is he was born to privilege. Is the I thing. like the guy. Yeah. I like the guy. But the sub, and it didn't get any laughs, by the way, because I had a ton of fans there at the show, too. It didn't get any laughs. What he said? Yeah, oh, about good, me. Good, good, good. Yeah, good. And, but it's just like, it's just like, this is what we're fighting here. And it goes back to the, the, the gay guy getting angry. It's like, dude, listen to me, man. E and I said this. Equal, equality is equal shit, okay? And even that thing on my Twitter, it's like, that's literally a black guy wore that to a Trump rally. What we're talking about is a guy with a t-shirt that says N-words for Trump on it, and then they put Sam's head on it because yeah. of his N-word joke. Well, yeah. And they, they took my, my fucking most ghetto picture, too, which was my peanut butter era head yeah, hair. peanut butter hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my most yeah. hood era. <laughs> Your most hood era? Yeah. That's funny. That's so funny. Yeah. Uh, also, there is something, correct me if I'm wrong, kind of sacred about that moment where you're exchanging the mic, right? Like, you're not supposed to shit on the guy who just left no. the stage like, in yeah, that moment. And, like, give me dirty looks. But don't, yeah, don't shit it's talk like, me bro, once I'm... It's like, li listen, dude, I am more than aware that I am not for everybody. I get it. Yeah, that's comedy, though. Comedy's not supposed to be for everybody. Well, no, that, but that's what I'm telling you about the normies versus the edge. I don't know. That to me, fuck that guy for that, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was that, Johnny. I, I like, but I'm just telling you, you guys are going to see Jason Ellis explode. I mean, has he not already exploded? I feel like I see no, him. No, I mean, but I, I guarantee, I, 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 you know, I'm psychic, Johnny. We talked about But his it. act is really dark, right? Like, it's really dirty. You think and that I, can I, I guarantee you, either Amazon or Netflix will have a dirty series. Or, you know, when they did that whole trans show shit, where they just had all the trans doing stand-up, which is, listen, if you there are enough people in the country that want to see that, they should have a comedy show. Let them have a comedy show. I have zero problems with it, okay? His accent's so funny, too. But, I'm telling you, bro, he, he's like the most comfortable I've ever seen a guy who's been doing it for as long as he has. Because he's always been on a mic, he's always been in front of people, mm. And, and but like the shit he's talking about right now is so insane, and he's getting crowds laughing at, and it's smooth, dude. Good shit's coming for that guy. Good shit's coming for that guy. So that was a that was a crazy ass thing, dude. Ah, cool. uh, what else? What else? I went to uh, I went to see Dwight Yoakam drug my girlfriend out there. We had great seats. Uh, do you know? So I noticed they brought an extra mic on the stage. Post Malone comes out with Dwight Yoakam. He's doing country music now. Did you notice? He's got like three Why big country music hits Why do you think everybody's moving to country music? Money. The money. There's a money in country music. They sell People actually buy records, apparently. Oh, the yeah, music yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, who used to have that joke? Was it, was it, no, it was Aaron Cater. It was yeah. either Aaron Cater or Sarah Tiana had a joke about why country music makes the most money because they actually have to go down and buy the CD. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, but it was it was uh, he could he didn't know the words to any Dwight songs. It was kind of embarrassing, uh, but it was 
was a good show. Dwight Yoakam's still great. He was my first celebrity experience here in L.A. I was at Gelson's at midnight on Santa Monica, looked down, saw Dwight Yoakam pointy boots, and I was like, oh, weird. And then I looked up, tight skin, tight jeans. I was like, man, he looks just like Dwight Yoakam, but like in the 90s. Denim jacket on, ball cap, not cowboy hat. It was Dwight Yoakam, right? Just like he was on stage. Let he me was ask at you something. Do you think the average person in LA knows who Dwight Yoakam is? The average person, dude. You, I, he sold out the Greek, like, pack, to the to the very back. It was sold out. I couldn't believe it. I, I mean, I like Dwight Yoakam. I love. I just wonder I mean, if he lives in LA because he, he feels does, like yeah. he can just move freely. Well, he moved out here in the nineties. He moved out. That's way what they a long say about 80s, like actually. European soccer players love coming to America. He moved here before he's famous because nobody knows who they are and they could just walk around. He's, he claims he left Nashville because nobody wanted to make his records there as well, and he started going to Columbia every day, like handing them like demos or whatever, you know. Uh, oh, when after he made it? No, no, no. He, came, he moved here before he made it to try to do like acting and and music, and he would hand out demos to people at like Capitol and stuff like that, trying to get it, trying to get his records made. I've always loved Dwight though. He's got he's one of the few guys in country who's still doing it. That's got like legitimacy. You know, he's like got street cred. To yeah, me. I mean, whenever something blows up, the the fucking bean counters and the rich kids come in. And, and and the normies, he still the does normies. all the dancing too. Like though, all the normies come in, all the normies, right? Doing it. Yeah, the comedy, comedy country music is shit right now, dude. It's so bad. Yeah, they're trying to rap. Oh, it's so bad. Oh. It's so bad because it's normies. Like, dude, it's just like, dude, look at look at what happened to comedy. Look at what happened to hip hop. Look at what happened to country music. It's it all always about starts beer. with outlaws and then it ends with rich kid normies. Post all Malone's, the time. All of his songs, by the way, are about him needing a beer. Like he's got he's got one song, and this is a guy coming off a mental breakdown. Who? He goes Post Malone, his country songs. I listen to them. Uh, he's got one song where the line is, "I can't even think when one is calling my name." Like it's all just the revelation of his alcoholism. I guess these songs. It's and uh, oh, like one is in a in a liquor store. It's said about him going like into this world, like in the Bud Light commercial where you pop out the other side, you know, and it's. I mean, it's just... It's, it's so interesting. I, mean, I think he dude. lives in Salt Lake. Really? Something like that. We had a breakdown, right? Like a mental... I like Post Malone. I like him as a person. I, his music doesn't... Do I like... Breakdown. I don't mind his music. Like, he covered Hootie and the Blowfish. Like, I mean, what are we doing? <laughs> I mean, dude, I like his songs, dude. He's chill, yeah. dude. I mean, I, I wonder if he regrets all those face tattoos. That's like, what I'm saying. Uh, like, I, you know, what are we doing here with all... I just can't commit to. I would get a tattoo, but I can't commit to my own. Taste. Johnny, I, by the way, I heard you're getting one. Yeah, yeah, so it, no, it's uh, I, I changed the date. So wait, so, are we still going on that Wednesday or no? No, yeah, we're still going, we're we're on for Wednesday. So it's not Tuesday anymore. It's back to Wednesday. It's back to Wednesday. Okay, okay. okay. So good thing I almost scheduled a doctor's appointment. Thank that. God. So I, I'm going to be getting my my tattoo done August 14th. Godzilla tattoo in Vegas. Godzilla, I'm thinking new school. It's getting done by DJ. Is that a place or is that a style? I don't know. It's a style. Look up look up new school tattoo. Okay. They're bright colors. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know. I know this. Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go on my thigh, but now I'm like, if I'm gonna pay that much money, do I want to put it where somewhere I can see it? Do I want to do it on my arm? But your your uh, your sexual partners don't see your thighs, your boys, your boys you have around, they they see them plenty. Come on, man. Look at this one. Like, what is that? Yeah, but look at that Octopus. one, dude. Look at that. No, the other one. Oh, look Homer at that Simpson. That's cool. no, the other one. Yeah, look at that one. Look at the. Color. I wonder if there's a Godzilla. Let's see. But this guy, this guy DJ, put in DJ from. Uh, we we talked about him before, but look at this. D some Godzilla. That's cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah, but this guy's the best. D DJ or J DJ from it? from. Um, from from is he uh, on Ink, uh, Master. Ink Master? Okay, yeah, he's the best. He's the best. Look at that, dude. How long must it take to do like a back tattoo like this, bro? That's like days and <laughs> weeks, right? God, what I'm excited. What a talent! Yeah, he's an artist, huh? Really talented. Look at that, dude. That is detail, dude. My girl recommended. So my best friend was in town with his girlfriend, and my girlfriend recommended somebody to do their tattoos, and she and and she fucked up. <laughs> like fucked up the, my best friend's girlfriend's tattoo and my girl's like oh my god i'm so sorry but she she really didn't like it it was, it was hilarious and then my girl found out 
this person that did the tattoo off their self. She was like, put a letter out on Instagram and just, so you got your tattoo done. That's a limited edition now. That's what I told her. Uh, just, uh, so yeah, that's probably was why. Was it that bad of a tattoo? No, it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't what they wanted. You know, what I mean? I'm sorry, guys. Style. If you're ever going through that, just know you're just going to have to come back and do it all over again. You're just going to have to do it all over again. You're going to come find yourself right back in the same it's spot. It's funny, dude. That's what the, the suicide note was like. I'm just going to come. I, I got to get a different life, basically, is what it was. like. I, I just wasn't suited for this life. It was very I don't dark. know, man. I, I don't know if you get to choose that. I don't know. Like, There's like, she, she could burn for eternity in hell. I mean, like, it's possible. I don't, I don't know what the answer is, guys, and I'm not trying to condemn anybody. I've lost people I love to that. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to anybody, but who knows what happens? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm getting a Godzilla tattoo. I'm so I, excited. I bet, I, I bet you are. How, uh, just one sitting? I'm going to try, yeah. That's exciting, yeah. It is exciting. If I could commit to my own taste, I would get one probably, but I just... Johnny, I, there's things you love. Inter- what do you love? Nothing that I would... like. I'm talking about the style. Like, I just... My do some, a change. Beetle thing. Yeah. Do I, something I, I don't simple. Want the, I don't want a Beatles thing on me. Though. I don't. That doesn't interest me. Having do that a on Cubert, my body. the video game. You would love that. You <laughs> love that little guy. I don't know who that is, honestly. You don't know Q-Bert. who Cubert no, is? No, I don't know who that is. Put down Cubert. Look up Cubert. Cubert. Just the letter Q? Cubert. Oh, yeah. See, I don't know what that is. You don't know what that that is, Johnny? No, I'll put it up here, but I've never seen that. Dude, it's one of the original video games. It looks like a little sex toy or something. No, it's like you jump around and you just like hit the color. Stick your dick in there. Dude, dude, I really, Johnny, I just want to get a place with a lot of fucking room, and then I just want to build my own video arcade where I can play old school video games. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Because I'm getting old, dude. It's like really crazy. I'm a couple months away from 52. It's going, bro. It's going, especially having so kids, fast. bro. So fast. It man. just hurt halls. It's supposed to be ways you can slow it down. I've done a lot of reading on this, that you can kind of like have new experiences, go places, and that slows it down a little bit, like your experience of time passing. But it, it's not much. I mean, it just slips away. Apparently, you know, because you've seen everything and done everything in your routine now, it just <sighs> kind of flows by. <clears throat> My if, new thing is I, I want to go on vacation. Well, that'll help. They say that helps slow it down. I've, ne- I've never been on vacation. I would love to take my kids. But, you know, scary. it's like to fly them home or I'm bringing the kids to the motherland. You know? Do you think there'll be trouble flying with your kids? Uh, they, I'm sure. But I'm not the first one with an autistic kid to fly and I won't be the last. Let's and you just got to go through it. And I'll just apologize to fucking everybody yeah, people who wants are, headphones. Yeah. I got earplugs. She's autistic. Yeah. Anybody wants yeah. it. I don't yeah. know how it's going to go. So anybody, I got a ton of earplugs. I'm super sorry. They're going home to the motherland of uh, upstate New York, and she just we had to do it. So we're gonna do it, but it's gonna be very expensive. The haul two four year olds across country. It's so crazy to me. Well, how are you gonna do that too? Because you can't. Well, you got the two of them, and then what? You are. Is it just you going back with them? No, Dana's Dana? coming. So Dana's it, never been. Dude, we've been together 20 years. She's never been to the homeland. Oh, really? She just never wanted, like, it just never worked out. So we're hauling her back to the homeland. My girl goes back a lot, but it's mostly because she likes being on the farm with all the animals. She loves animals. So she's, she cares Would she more move about, there, Johnny? No, she wouldn't move. Well, everybody leaves L.A., they come right back, dude. No, well, she's born here, though. That's the thing. I yeah, mean, she's, that's where. She's I'm it. raising white girls in the valley. <laughs> those are that's my so daughters. Yeah. White girls in the valley, dude. They're going to be the ones. There's who, movies about those people. Don't laugh at your jokes. That's the, that's what you're raising. A couple of girls that won't laugh at your comedy. Oh, no, man. My daughter, dude, Johnny, my daughter is four years old. That's we not were, appropriate, Daddy. We were swimming, and she turned to me. She goes, Daddy, you're so handsome. And I go, who told you how to talk like that? I like she says things that nobody even understands. Like she's way ahead of her time. You should try to talk to her about what she was doing before she was born and see if she says anything. Some kids have interesting answers to that. At apparently. four, do you think they still remember? Maybe. Just ask. Like, I've heard some interesting answers to those questions. Like my kids. one daughter, she's autistic. She's been nonverbal, but she's saying words now, which is cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we just gotta get her comfortable. It's gonna happen. It's gonna she's cool, happen. though, man. I, being around her, you can tell she's got good spirit and everything. No, she's bad. At, and listen, and, and the baby's yeah. mama finally said something I've been saying forever. Is that my autistic daughter knows she's autistic and uses it to her advantage when yeah. she doesn't want to deal with you. 
That's funny. Right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> so you'd be like, hey, hey, ninja, come here, ninja. And she'd be like, I can't hear you. I'm autistic. Until you go, hey, I got this for you. And then she'll run right over. <laughs> That's uh... So, Johnny, final thing. I, I was trying to find it. Smart. Uh, uh, the, the war against my neighbors is good. Oh, it's they, ratcheting? They, well, I, I can't find it, but I took a picture of them. And, uh, of how they, they, they have this thing where they believe that because the curb is in front of their house... That's their private property, nope. and they take, and they take their trash cans and put it down, and they save the spot. So now they got uh, a four, like three cars and a motorcycle, and I, yeah. And then one time I came out, dude. They had four trash cans spread over, I'd say, fifteen feet. It's not. You can't do that. Yeah, and I have to decide whether it's not even I, trash want, day. I want war or not. I don't want war. I just want to live my life. Sam, you literally come in the studio almost every day saying, I want to fight everybody. I know, but that's just for fun. I do want to fight a lot of people, though. Yeah, I do want to fight a lot so of you people. So you, you've been saying that almost like a mantra. You realize things that you repeat to yourself become true. I think you do want to fight everybody. I, 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 you I do don't want to fight everybody, but I would like to test my skills. You want war with these guys. You do. I just want him to be respectful and be like, first come, first serve. If you have an elderly parent there and you're like, he he needs to park here, so he's going, dude, take the yeah, spot. Yeah, you don't need three spots. You so. don't need three spots for your show car and everybody. I love your war with these, these random ass people. Speaking of war, uh, did you see what Judge Joe Brown said about Kamala? No, what, what did she Dude, what did it's she? so funny. I'll have to censor it for YouTube, but we're going to hear though. Also, I got the best version of it, which is a black guy reacting to Judge Joe Brown saying it. Uh, check this out. Oh, Judge. Oh, no, go ahead. Go, go, go. No, no. What? Finish this. I want to get into like this constantly pushing us that Simone Biles is like the goat of anything. Oh, God. Yeah, she's everywhere. And it's it just ESPN anno loves her. Annoys the, uh, you, you quit in the Olympics because you were upset. At a sport that nobody gives a shit about except when the Olympics is happening. It's like crazy to me. There's like You're I, good at jumping. The, okay. the goats win against all odds. That's why they're the goat. Yeah. We like, oh my God, it, we we didn't get, we can't believe this happened. Mary like Mary Lou Retton, you know, like shred what, her how, ankle or whatever. Broken foot. Yeah. Foot's hanging off. Come on. Right? No, you're right. You wanna play this now? And then she's like, I I I I have anxiety. I don't want to do that. What? This is one that's every four years. Yeah, that's right. It's every four years. Your event is every I'm four sorry, years. I'm sorry, dude. Once you do that, it's, I'm, I'm done. It's like a soccer player only plays I'm in a done. World Cup. Well, you're like, what about Michael Jordan? He quit basketball after the season was done. And the NBA, we're pretty sure, made pretty him quit. Pretty sure yeah. made him do it, okay? Yeah. Like, you really think that guy would have quit? No way, Like, dude. there's no way. No He's way. like, oh, it's too much crazy. No, dude, you're betting on sports. That's why Atani's still fighting. I'm still playing baseball. That's ridiculous, by the way. They're gonna that guy's really going down for this shit. They must be taking care of his family or something. Well, Johnny, I'm telling you, dude. Crazy. These guys go, they go somewhere where we're oh, like. Oh, you don't think he's being really. Oh, I got you. Okay. They go somewhere and they take care of it. I'm just telling you, dude. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. All right, so this is this this is so funny right here. Listen to this. How you feel about her? She's a piece of shit. <laughs> I was in California. She lacked professional competence, and she worked on it by hiking up her hemline when she needed influence rather than researching. She's always tried to do the casting couch to get where she wants. Now the problem is, is that'll get somebody to a certain level quickly. But you can't get past that level if you don't have competence and talent. So my thing about it is, is if I'm crude about it, in this city years ago, I used to represent a whole bunch of pimps and hoes, and I know a hoe when I see one. <laughs> and I say this, I don't care, women, you do what you want to do if you want to have recreational sex, but when you do the casting couch or anything else for professional purposes to get paid or advance, you a hoe. And she's old, ho. And the problem is, is what is she supposed to do? 
somebody, one of her sycophant slaves comes up and unwraps her in a carpet naked at Putin's feet, and he says, oh, yeah, I'm Julius Caesar. He said, no, ho, I got better stuff here already. Plus, I don't want you anyway, you old woman. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know uh, uh, Xi Jinping, is he supposed to be impressed? She's doing word salad. Well, we're here today because China and the U.S. are here today. Yeah. And that's why we have to agree yeah. on what that's we're great. doing here today. Like, fool, what did you just say? You know, did <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's like the best thing I've ever heard right there. It's beautiful. And the guy that got mad at me at the comedy show, if I said that, oh, he God. would lose his effing mind. Oh, yeah. Or if he you said that in front of uh, Masakela or whatever the hell his name is, that guy, oh, he would. From the, yeah, from ESPN. Oh, is that, I thought yeah. you were talking about the gay guy. Think... No, the gay guy would too. Yeah. That's would so lose funny. their mind if he's saying that. <laughs> Why do we only allow certain people to tell the truth? We are in a giant gaslighting. This is the greatest gaslighting I've ever seen. This notion that people think she's got a chance. Okay. Uh, well, and I see, I mean, I pulled this other story too. I mean, you're seeing, and this is just everywhere, uh, the Taylor Swifties are coming out for Kamala. Uh, Joe Rogan, I mean, there's a clip of him talking about how he thinks she's going to win. I went and watched the episode, and he pretty much says that. I, we can play a little bit of it here. It all bothers me the fragility of the human mind. You know, that we're, so everybody forever was like Kamala Harris is the worst vice president she's the least popular vice president of all time and then in a moment a moment in time all of a sudden she's our solution she's our hero everybody's with her all these social media posts about her try googling a negative story on her you won't find one so ta da okay, you, 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 you've got do you think they have her medicated because no. there was a guy that was speculating that some of the things that she says, the way she's sort of disconnected sometimes, and I don't she know goes what, on these rambles that it's I don't indicative understand. of certain anti-anxiety medication. I do not know if this is true. See if you can find that. Because really, that would say make that about that would make our future president. Yeah, our future, yeah, she's gonna win. No, she's not. She can win. She absolutely can win. I do not think she's going to win because Listen, the more stop. she talks, like in twenty twenty, like, she like if she wins, it's not by vote. It's not by vote. That's what he's saying. I just can't imagine it's people by voting cheat. for him. It's, it's not by vote. It is by cheat. It's the same way I fed up, felt so about So now Biden, do you though. hear the big controversy, Johnny, is that she was going to get the, the, the governor of Pennsylvania as her vice president, and they're now finding out yeah. that he went yeah. and volunteered for the IDF. Yeah, he's it's Shapiro, right? Yeah. Bro. And the Democrats, for they don't like that. No, no, they don't. But isn't that, we live in a world where the Democrats are more, like, patriotic in that way than the other side. It, Crazy there seems to be to a me. lot of controversy about this VP pick. Because it, it sounds, you know, at first they thought it was going to be the astronaut guy, Kelly. And then, and then some stuff came out about, yeah, him, about him. That he's working yeah. with China, right? So that's gone. And now they got this guy. He, he went, he didn't volunteer for his own country. He volunteered for the IDF. And now Get the fuck out of here! There's a ton of stories about uh, the polling now saying it's a dead heat. Like, I think the Wall Street Journal had something. Now, I'm going to tell uh, you something. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Trump is handling this horribly. I would, if I was Trump, I would pull back and just let the bitch implode. Like, he's, ju he's just doing stupid shit. What, like what? What do you mean? Yeah, what he did right recently. Like, here's a Bloomberg headline: Harris erases Trump's swing state lead uh, to statistical dead heat. That means she's losing. Uh, yeah, Bloom for Bloom sure. Bloomberg: Harris erases Trump's swing state yeah. edge and tight race. Yeah. Kamala Harris poll surge and Fed rate cut odds deflate Trump trade. Is what they're saying. News, 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 news. I'm listening. But yeah, it's, I mean, those were all the headlines this week. Were about uh, were about her taking the lead. Yeah, I think and, it's uh, absolutely fucking or, or, retarded. Or, or, or pulling even in the polls. And I, I mean, I guess, you know, I mean, there was a time when Trump was running against literally weekend at Bernie. So I, I suppose no, she should do dude, better than him. But. Well, dude, I, I think she she's playing this all wrong. I think she's an example of somebody who 
never really was in black culture. They say because she went to Howard. She never, listen, dude, she lied about smoking weed. She lied about listening to Tupac. She lo- she locked up black. I mean, there's nothing there, and it's the only people that are gonna save us are black people. You don't, calling you her don't, out. You don't think uh, white dudes for Harris is gonna save us? I'm white. I'm a dude, and I'm for Harris. I can't believe this exists, and that's so, why I posted that thing on Insta on Twitter. Well, I, didn't, I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. Niggas for niggas for oh, Trump. easy. Niggas for Trump. We can't do the N word on here. Okay. Well, that's why I posted it. Because of these retards. So there was a, I, I mean, a Zoom meeting of white male celebrities, uh, just called like white white dudes for Harris is what yeah. it's called, and these are some highlights from it. I, I mean, it's just the biggest collection of dipshits. Over the last few years, you know, I've been thinking a lot about men. I'm not sure if you guys can recall that feeling you had on the night of. Tuesday. Stop! 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 This is crazy because this guy is actually a really decent, at least I used to think he was a really decent actor. And then I realized he's just playing himself. And he's just like, and now he shows up. And, and this, is what's, this is what's going on. This is why, you know, I tell everybody, you need the electoral college. You need it. You need it because this exists. Without without the electoral college, this determines yeah, every do you, election. Do you think the electoral college is on our side? Those no, elite but people. Th- that's easier to fix than try and convince these major liberal cities not to go into group think. Maybe, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think the ele- I think they're all in the bag of the cities anyway. Yeah, but Johnny, Johnny, do you think the do you think Montana? When has that ever saved us? Is what I would say. Like the electoral college. Well, it does. It does allow smaller states that tend to be more conservative. Oh, to you're have saying a say. as versus it being like majority rule. I guess no. Like well, we, versus where Clinton allow, would have won. Wh- uh, versus allowing New York, Chicago, San Francisco, and L.A. to determine Which every is what election. You're saying like if if we had majority rule, Clinton would have been president. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, you. we yeah. we but it's and you go well. It's democracy. Shouldn't democracy? Well, it's shouldn't not majority, a democracy. Actually, it's a republic. But uh, should it should it be should it be should we just allow it like to whoever gets the most vote? No, dude, because the big cities it, it, there's a plague of group think there. And they just vote so that the people around them know who they voted for so they can move up in their in their fucking industries. You're never going to get somebody working in a corporate area that that's corporation that leans liberal or even progressive to ever have any kind of opinion outside of that progressive group think. It's never going to happen. It's yeah. never. You cannot allow New York, Chicago, L.A., and San Francisco to determine every election. You no, just yeah, can't. No, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I just don't. I I feel like that's all fixed anyway. I think whoever wins is who they want to win, no matter what, whether the electoral college is there or not. Uh, all right, uh, I'll just finish this. this November fun. 8th, 2016. Uh, I stood over my kid's bed and I wept. White nationalists? <laughs> He's talking about when. when Why when is Trump this guy like here? A, this is a white. We have to have diversity in white guys, too. He, talk, for, he, talks, he talks white, at least. Yeah, but, but hold Mac- on. We have to have diversity in white guys for Harris. Yeah, isn't that? I mean, even is, yeah. in a group called White Guys for yeah. Harris, we have diversity hires. White guys aren't allowed to meet unless it's a clan meeting. That's <laughs> the rule. Yeah, you have to have white hoods if they're if they're gonna get together like this. Uh, they want to speak for you, you specifically as white men in, in the car. marginalized communities that educate me every single day. Um, th- this is a constant Did education you just say? Uh, for, for all of us. Kamala is carrying on her shoulders 248 years of pain. Of agony, of hope, of frustration. <laughs> what did you um, just And say? no matter stop, how much. Sh- stop. You'll never get Who through this. Who is this guy? We're 41 seconds in. Who is this guy? I don't know. He looks like some kind of elected official of some variety. I, I, he's bald as fuck. Hey, so. 200 years? Her her relatives were slave traders. Like, what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, she's like, not even that fan. literally talking about? Like Jamaican and Indian, right? What are you talking about? Jamaican like, made crazy, like, man. Like, dude, listen to me. I have zero problems with people calling out Trump on their bullshit. And I know my liberal friends all think I'm a conservative. I'm a, I'm politically atheist. But Kamala Harris, and by the way, Dana sat me down and begged me not to refer to her as Camel Toe anymore. She literally She's, begged me. Call her Carmella. Even, Dana, but not- Dana's like, please, Sam. 
please, you already talked about Hillary Clinton's moose knuckle. Uh, I don't want people to think you're sexy, so and I'm like, but I am. <laughs> I totally am. I make no illusions of that. I'm out here battling for our souls here. I'm battling white progressive women who are all going to be high-ranking generals in America's Mao army. Dude, it's just going to happen. And they're coming yeah. for you first, too. Oh, I'm totally done. So I'm, go I'm going uh, guns a-blazing here, dude. I can't, can't help it. So, yeah. I mean, like... This guy is just speaking retard. Just retard. I learn, I learn all the time. Like, go back to the other guy. Go back to the other guy. Uh, which, uh, the black guy? Yeah, no, the, no, no, the guy raping this guy. Listen right. to what this guy says. In the marginalized communities that educate me every single day. Who? Um, that <laughs> what marginalized community is this guy meeting? Well, who are you talking about? Your valet at the studio? Yeah, he's probably a teacher. The or something. busser? Like, what are you talking about? Marginalized people. What are you talking about? Uh, dude, what city does this guy live in? What is it they called those meetings that they would have in China uh, during, you know, the Cultural Revolution or the struggle sessions? Yeah, you know, oh, that's yeah. what oh, this, this is. This is dude. totally, that's it. This is a struggle session. Uh, struggle session. session. Now, what I'm trying to tell you guys is. Is like the reason I'm upset and the reason I am blunt force with what I say and everyone gets upset with it is because we've seen this happen before. We have seen this playbook before. It is happening in real time. So and the funny. same players are doing it. And I'm not even saying, oh, is it this group of people? That I'm talking about the same people inside the borders are the same people that have taken down every single Fucking one of these countries. It is progressive liberals in the countries that either they're masquerading as those citizens or they're the youth of those that country. And they are just annihilating the country from within. This is what's happening. You are getting gaslit. Okay? That's my whole thing. Listen, you're getting gaslit. You can say whatever you want about Trump and I'm fine with it. And we will list all the things that Trump does wrong. I'm down for it. Zionist wants to is think want, put like people are like well you know that's just all a lie what they're saying. Hey dude, dude, he put the head of BlackRock in. He he put him in charge of working with the Federal Reserve during his first term. He wants to ban flag burning, make that a punishable offense. Which I I mean I'm against that. Yeah, yeah it's free speech. I mean the you free can speech. Burn whatever you want to do. Yeah. Okay, and I don't think if you go out and you do donuts on a rainbow intersection, you should be going to jail either. Yeah, exactly. It's like, get the fuck out of here. It's America. It's America. It's just ridiculous. And you just know everybody, if, you, if you're willing for the... And this is my whole thing, man. If you're willing to allow the government to prosecute people for things you don't like, just know they will come back and get you. Yep. Every fucking time. Time. So you have to defend the people you don't like. That's what back when the ACL was doing good good work, the ACLU. They were founded on that principle. They were going and protecting the worst of the worst, the, protecting their civil rights. Because once you allow one time for them to create a precedence of abusing the Constitution, it's over. You have to protect that all the time. These people are ridiculous. These people are ridiculous in this video. They all live in cities that are overrun with crime, high prices, and taxes. And when something bad happens to them, let's say their house gets broken into, guess what they think? Just a bad day. Yeah. Well, it's I mean, it's like a, that stabbing, that woman was yeah, stabbing. It's just bad luck. It happened to me. I can't believe it. Oh, gee, shucks. I wish we could do something about it. No, keep voting in the same fucking retards. There was this guy raising money for the ACLU outside of the grocery store a couple weeks ago, and I told him, yeah, call me 20 years ago. <laughs> I, I, I told him I was walking past. He was like, what? It, uh, yeah, I mean, they've it's completely lost their way. We have to, this is funny. We, let's, let's just finish. It's a constant this. education uh, for, for all of us. What Kamala is carrying on her shoulders 248 years of pain, <laughs> of agony, of hope, of frustration. Um, and no matter how high she jumps, no matter how many degrees she has, no matter uh, how good her grades she's are, she's running for president. Uh, she's she's never Democratic good nominee. enough because they're always moving the line. Uh, what a, what a variety! Oh, he's the worst of whiteness we have here. It's like a rainbow of uh, of beige. 
But man, stop. I am scared stop. to death. Oh God. We're stop. never gonna get through this. Yeah, well, that's the point, Johnny. We're not gonna get through it. Okay. <laughs> that's the because point. what's happening here is all of these guys are in their fat houses with their fat fucking yeah. uh, on their nice computers and their second floors and their spiral staircases and they're complaining about whiteness, closing the door behind them. Why they totally... Yeah. Well, go back one. There's no whiter dude. It's between the guy you just saw and Santa Claus. Who's more whiter than this guy? Yeah. No, go that guy right yeah, there. Right? You're the whitest dude I've ever seen. He was on West. I mean, he's, he's been on everything. West Wing. He's on everything. He's on everything. He's had a huge career. He's allowed to progress. He always plays. He always plays white guy. Okay, that's who he plays. And now, if he had it his way, he'd shut the door on it, and it'd only be a biracial, bisexual people getting acting gigs because he can't do it anymore. So he wants to close the door behind him. Okay. I say let everybody pr get a chance, but that's that's where it extends. Everybody gets a chance, and the best get it. We want it to be a meritocracy, not these guys. Uh -uh. They're talking out their Ivy Towers, crying about things. Uh, talk Dude, that guy said Kamala Harris is carrying 240 years of, of oppression. Her family <laughs> sold slaves. What are you talking about? This is what we're doing here. And this is why Rogan says she got a chance, because retards like this are pushing people who have no connection to the average guy. Dude, that guy, go get the, get the other guy I'm bitching about. He calls normal people marginalized. Well, I don't know. He, I, I assume he's like a professor or something. And by probably. the way, by the way, Johnny, you know, they've done studies on the ethnic people that get diversity hires, and they're all upper class, by the way. Now, occasionally you get a Jamar Neighbors, a Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. Right, you'll get in that, but really, they're all uh, they're all Ivy League, high end, college educated, which is fine. But stop acting like you're somehow helping the marginalized people. So Just imagine how much self awareness you lack to say these things and appear on a video. White dudes for Harris these guys like should this. have to live in the Appalachian Mountains. And they should have to shoot movies out of there. I mean, it's like a sketch, though. It really is. Like, a, like if we could write this as a sketch, and yeah. it wouldn't be much if we different. Go, if we told AI, hey, AI, write yeah. the snarkiest white progressive liberals trying to convince people of color circle, to Derek. vote yeah. for uh, Kamala Harris, what would that sound like? And it would be exactly this. Yeah. I mean, we couldn't even be this creative, I'm afraid. It's why it's so hard to parody. What a variety... Of whiteness we have here with like a Shut rainbow. Shut up, Santa Claus. Of, uh, a beige. But man, I am scared to death of what the future could look like if we go back. Stop, Johnny. To Stop it. Does <laughs> anybody that struggle ever have a statue like that in their house? No, it's ever? Like an award or something. What like is that. that statue back there? Yeah, Do you award. ever have that kind of like no. No, founding father, fuckhead, fuck him, uh, statue back there. What is he terrified of, Johnny? He's terrified uh, that Trump, who's already been president once, what might happen when he's president again? The Trump administration, one that truly left working construction white men behind. <laughs> You've seen it with congressional now leaders. I will say, this is the governor of North Carolina. They've called Vice President Harris a DEI candidate. Of course, men are also dude, more you, free. Did you now, tell this is me Pete this? Buttigieg. Did you hear, dude, uh, Dylan Wren on, uh, Dylan or Ryan uh, on uh, Deep Waters? Do you know the theory that's out? You told me, yeah. That he's not that even he's gay? Not gay? yeah. That he's just playing a game? Yeah, yeah. I would love for that to be true and it be exposed. Wouldn't like, it if some stripper came out? Can you, can you imagine? He'd be the first guy whose career was ruined by him turning out not to be gay. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's the first one to lose a gig because he bangs pussy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That would be hilarious. In a country where we have a president who stands up for things like access to abortion care. Let's be clear about who Donald Trump and J.D. Okay. Vance are. Donald Trump is a 34-time convicted felon, an adjudicated rapist, and a congenital liar. Oh. He's a fraud. And J.D. Vance is his mini-me. I even created my own cognitive test that describes the two of them. Sofa, dolphin, Shark, cats, convict. Real men. What is he talking about? Women. 
their decisions, their careers. This is their whole. And it's pretty clear that Donald Trump and J.D. Vance don't. A woman president, man. How exciting. But dude, if there is a God, she's a terrible writer. One day, we all will be asked what we did to stop this MAGA movement. This what will guy. your answer be? Oh, that was that was just it's unbelievable. What? Stop. Oh I just my all my heroes are dead. I know. I know. That's so depressing. Jeff Bridges is like hot garbage the dude does not abide the dude is a dick <laughs> um it, boy there's a lot of uh so lindsey graham is trying to get a uh, use of force authorization passed against iran and then today or a couple hours ago there's this tweet that came over from Iran. From Iran, yeah. yeah. I, I assume their response to this, saying that what was the quote? Like, uh, I'm trying to. F I have it here somewhere. That the net tomorrow is going to be like one of the. Yeah. Where the hell is? Fuck this around and it. find out. That's basically what it was. Tweet go? Right. Hold on, let me pull it back. Oh yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay, breaking Iranian state TV. I'm sorry, Iranian state TV says in the coming hours the world will witness extraordinary scenes and very important developments. Now, whenever Iran says that in the past, it's usually something bad. So, uh, buckle up. It could be something interesting yeah, coming out of Iran. I mean, they just, just don't even. Yeah, up. I mean, well, did you see that the um, that the um, the Israeli stock exchange plummeted oh, really? after that tweet? No kidding. Yeah. Huh. I did not see that. Um, so there was a guy arrested coming on the Mar-a-Lago, saying that he had gov documents tying the Chinese government to the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. Now, a week after that, on July 30th at 10 a.m., Lee drove past Secret Service checkpoints and straight towards the estate's southern gate. Now, in violation of the trespassing warning, he was arrested. It's important to note Trump was not at Mar-a-Lago that day. A judge did give Lee a no-contact order for former President Trump and anyone associated with him or his campaign. He's not the first Chinese citizen to face charges, though, for trying to gain access to Mar-a-Lago. A woman was arrested in 2019 after the Secret Service said she lied to get into the club. The former President Trump, he does split his time between New Jersey... Anyway, so that guy was trying to get there to hand him these documents that link China to the assassination, is, is what they're saying. Oh, okay, here we go. I mean... Here we go. Like, I mean, come on, dude. Come on. It's just like anything... It's just like, Johnny, Johnny. What? What country have we seen linked to the assassination of our, 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 our officials? Our own country! It happens Always. every time. Yeah. And I then, mean, these people are just re like, yeah. And then dude. Trump's out there now. Without his uh, bandage. With, without his bandage. And his ear looks, I mean, I don't even see a scar. There. Yeah, I'm with you. Which, I don't I don't know why they would. If I was him, and this is just innocent, I would have kept the bandage on for another week or two for it to reasonably have he healed to the point where there's nothing on it. Yeah, I agree, Johnny. Like, that. that's bizarre, I agree. Right? Well, it's not, unless you look at it through a non-linear warfare. Now everyone's arguing. Did it? Is it real? Is it fake? Is it real? Is it fake? Yeah, yeah. And then now Donald Trump has agreed to a uh, Fox News debate with Kamala. That's going to be September fourth, less than a month from now. Coming up, uh, that should be. How do you think that'll go? Kamala it doesn't even matter how it goes because they're going to spin it. However, they're going to. But can spin he talk to her the same way he would a man? That's what I wonder. Like, because with Hillary Clinton, at least there was a level of like she's kind of a. Bulldike yeah, but nobody likes nobody on the right likes her. It's just I don't I don't know what the answer is, Johnny. I really don't. I just think it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. I think I think we're all. I think it's just going to be fuck ridiculous, dude. I I I I, I he sh he could murk these people, and he just did murk Joe Biden. He didn't murk Joe Biden. Hold on, I want to get you this. He Johnny. did murk Joe Biden in a way. I mean, by like, kind of pulling. He, yeah, he had gone Biden too hard, murked he himself. Yeah, he let. He kind of let him punch himself out. Is what happened there. Johnny, he murked himself. What are you? What are you trying to get? To I'm me? trying to send you a bunch of things to look at. We looked at white dudes for Trump. Uh, so the last thing about the Trump assassination, it's just more and more stuff keeps coming out. There's footage here of them. Minutes before, with Trump still talking in the background, while all these police, all these police are surrounding this building, they know a man's up there, and you can s still hear Trump talking in the background on stage. And he was doing the 
Like the people on the ground are like, we got to get out of here. You can hear this woman back. We got to get the F out of here. The, this cop has his gun drawn and the president is still on the stage talking. There's fucking cops surrounding this whole entire fucking building right now. I don't know, man. It's just like a bunch of people just walking around. Like he's just walking around. He's not doing. Hey, something hang that's hey. what I'm saying. This ain't right, man. This, yeah. this is hey, weird. You know, hey, everyone's just like, hey, man. Hey. On this building. Hey, this guy. He's walked that way. He's walking that way. That guy's way. got his gun drawn. He just walked. They just. With you like they got guy. Hey, hey, you. Hey. Oh my God. Hey. And the president is still on stage. The former president. There's somebody in this building. Hey. They don't realize somebody's on top of the building. Oh, right. Dangerous behavior. Dangerous people. Dangerous people. I mean, how do you let the president stay on stage with this going on? We have drug dealers. We have people that do not be here. This guy, I'm going to stand oh, he, on here. Yeah, he got on the picnic table. I'm going to stand on here. I'm just going to walk around. So they know he's on the picnic table. They know somebody's on the roof. Look at this. Look at this, Sam. Look. <laughs> This guy on a horse. What is this? That's a chick. Oh, dude. it's a chick on a horse. Let's see if the horse gets scared. She's like, I'm gonna get you up out of here. You guys are doing a kick it. My guys. Take a look at that joint. Yeah, here it comes. She's a big red arrow. Right? So that's one of the lowest points, and that comes right from the government service. Comes right out of border patrol. Look, the police pulled back, dude. They're gone. Oh, no, that guy's running now. He knows something's up. Oh, did you hear that? Stab it. Make yourself small, bro. I don't know what's going on. Look, this is the see, dumbest shit I've ever heard. And he's heard. still on stage. That whole time passed without, and this is the Secret Service, supposed to be, you know, the the best security there is. Yeah. Come on, man. This thing was allowed Dude, to happen. Dude, you got the all so female obvious. Ghostbusters. It was so obvious this yeah. was allowed to happen. Yeah. It's all right, so now dumb. on to some lighter stuff. Uh, Pete Johnny, Dave. I sent you a bunch of stuff. Take a look at it real quick. All right, so here's a tweet from Owen Benjamin. Um, it is a picture of. Is that wait? wait is that the uh, boxer? The one that you said is both. Yeah. Oh wow! That I mean, that's just a dude right there. Yeah, it looks like him, right? I mean, dressed like a dude. Uh, short haircut. Oh, Benjamin put this out. This would have been Turkey, and his joke is, uh, "Hey, Algeria, why isn't he wearing a hijab?" Anyway, fascinating. All right, that's another point in the favor of him not being allowed to box. I would say. Uh, in the women's Olympics, anyway. Okay, Something this at is at the airport. This just happened at the airport. Here we go. Start from the beginning. A woman believed to be under the influence of drugs caused a stir at an airport de by demanding sex from passengers. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, we can't. We can't do this on YouTube. Hold on. We it's can't. blocked. Is it? Yeah, it looked. Oh, about? shit. Oh shit, okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. We'll just, we can watch it, but we can't show it on. <laughs> There's a woman just stark ass naked except for a bra. With her big jugs. Man, just walk oh gosh, that's what that's the worst place to have a mental breakdown is the airport, by the way. She's trying she's going for his Johnson, dude. She wants to have sex with him. She's going for his dick. Oh, and she's like finger or She's like, come get this. Black guys are like, I don't know what to do right now. Dude, black cock makes women crazy, bro. <laughs> that black dick makes them crazy. She went black, and now she can't go back. That's what happened. You know that, right? She dated a black guy, and now she's just, her titties out now. This, look at this black guy holding her. He's like, uh, I'm here. What? I, don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Wait until she sees him. She's going to be like, give me some of that. Is this woman like possessed? Or this is the crate. Can you imagine just trying to get through your day at the airport and this shit happening? Like you're late for your flight and then this shit's going down right here. 
No, the guy's taking her to the ground now. Ground and pound coming up here. Oh, man. Oh, now her whole, she's got her whole, she's spread eagle now on the ground, man. We're seeing everything. It's like she does some manscaping. There's going to be some guy hand. out there going, you know what? I can make her a good. Yeah. Oh, no, dude, she has a boyfriend for sure. This woman has a guy. If she doesn't have a boyfriend, she got, has a guy that wants to be her boyfriend, definitely. What a mess, man. What airport was this? New footage appears to show a second shooter firing shots at President Trump from inside the building that Crooks was atop. Uh, the FBI and Secret Service are telling us not to believe our own eyes. Let's see if there's any community notes here. No, there aren't. So let's see what we're looking for. Well, I don't even, I mean, I don't know what that video is. That could be anything. What is that from? I mean, it does look like a muzzle flash, but I don't. What is, what are these photos? What is, what is this? I don't even know. I mean, it's like a sniper's perch of some kind, but. Who took these photos? Anyway, interesting, but I would love some more context on that if anybody has it. Um, so I had tickets for Aerosmith, their last concert uh, on their farewell tour at the end of the year. They had rescheduled it from last year. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, they came to now. Well, yeah, and then they announced today, they said, uh, it has been the honor of our lives to have our music become part of yours in every club, on every massive tour, and at moments of grand and private, and at moments grand and private, you have given us a place in the soundtrack of your lives. Soundtrack of your lives. We've always wanted to blow your mind when performing. As you know, Steven's voice is an instrument like no other. Steven Tyler. He has spent months tirelessly working on getting his voice to where it was before the injury. We've seen him struggling despite having the best, best medical team by his side. Sadly, it is clear that a full recovery from his vocal injury is no longer possible. We have made a heartbreaking and difficult but necessary decision as a band of brothers to retire from touring the stage. So uh, they're done, dude. Uh, getting my money back, of course, and not going to get to see them. I was, it was my very first concert, the Nine Lives Tour in 1997. I was 11. I still have the T-shirt. How old are they? It, it still fits. Uh, I was going to wear it to the show, my Joe Perry shirt from that tour, and uh, I won't get to you now. They were going with the Black Crows at the Forum. Uh, how old was Steven Tyler? Oh, he's probably in his 70s. Let's see. Uh, he's 76, yeah. Yeah, he's like they're like the almost up there with the Rolling Stones. You don't realize how long Aerosmith. They had a whole career before their big '90s career. Like they had a whole career in the '70s, dude, of like more of like metally kind of like before the hair band era that people forget about. That's some of their best music. Anyway, uh, yeah, farewell to Aerosmith. Uh, Pete Davidson has checked into a facility for his mental health, uh, that proving that women will drive you crazy. And being a progressive is uh, taxing on your soul. That too, yeah, but just nothing will drive you crazy or faster than hot chicks. I mean, like, dude, what percentage of uh, people on the left are in therapy? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a greater percentage for sure. Um, Let's see, the Swifties, yeah, we mentioned are rallying for Kamala. There was some great news. It, you know, there have been a lot of negative things that we've covered, but this is fantastic news. Sydney Sweeney says that she will not stop doing Hollywood nude scenes, so I just want to give her a love. Who? The beautiful Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, get it out. Says that has said that she will not like so many in her position in the past as they got mega famous. Uh, she will not stop doing nude scenes. So God bless her. I say, um, this is an amazing story. This is an American woman who was chained to a tree in a forest in India for forty days without food or drink. Why? Her husband, crazy son of a bitch, tied her to a tree without food or water for 40 days. And people came and saved her? Yeah, they found her. Look at her, dude. She couldn't speak, so she had to write a note that said her ex-husband left her to die. He gave her a medicine for... He gave her an injection to, for extreme psychosis. I'm not sure whether to cause it. It wasn't clear in the story. Or to treat it. But. Look at her, dude. I mean, she's just like one of these okay. Holocaust victims. Forty days. 
Tai tu, 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 tai after she heard, after he heard her crying for several days, it took you several days to go follow up on somebody crying in the woods. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's a crazy story, man alive. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, so the big news out of Comic Con is that, bereft of any other ideas, uh, they're turning back to Robert Downey Jr., who's going to make something like a hundred million dollars a film, is what they're talking about for this. That's going to put him up there, right there with Will Smith, what he got for stealing money for Men in Black Three, um, to come back and not play Iron Man, but to play uh, Doctor Doom. I don't know how I've, a variant. I, I, I don't know you. You're the nerd dork. What do you think? Make it good, and I won't care. Make it good, okay. and nobody will care. Uh, uh, they did talk to Jonathan Majors, who was originally meant to star in that film. Uh, TMZ caught him on the way. On his, you know how they do people. Where, just where's he going street, to? What's just he walking doing? Down the street, basically, getting. A, they had a woman go talk to him, so he had to be nice to her, you know, instead of sprinting off like he normally does. Um, I don't know why this is not playing. Do anyway, you think he'll ever work again? I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I I didn't think anything he did was that bad. I, maybe if it cools off, he's a good actor. I thought he did that. He was great in that Marvel. Anything he was in, I thought he was holding that all together. That last phase of Marvel. Um, anyway, he said it broke his heart, of course, is what he said, since the video's not playing. Um, but yeah, he said it was heartbreaking, but that he wishes Robert Downey Jr. good luck in the wars to come. Um, Gavin Newsom has decided that he's very against artificial intelligence after it made a funny Kamala I mean, ad. dude, this is, again, the, the problem is that there is a predator class of progressives that are constantly emotionally manipulating the middle lower class of progressives because the lower middle class feels they have no hope uh, because they've just had it beat into them. And they just manipulate them because in reality, the predator, the, the upper class of progressives think the lower class of progressives are retards and idiots. And once again... Once again, the Unabomber is correct when he talks Boy. about how the progressive white liberal is dangerous to minorities. So what Gavin Newsom thinks is you are too dumb to realize that was an AI parody. So well, that's he's, what it is, yeah. he's trying to figure out. How he can get rid of free speech because he's constantly on the move, constantly pressing, get rid of guns, get rid of free speech. That's it. Because he can't bullshit you anymore and he can't Gestapo you, which is what they want, which is martial law. And again, the They're big thing you want to watch for is cognitive continuation of government. Because once we get the continuation of government... Okay. It's like martial law light, basically. It's basically we throw out the Constitution. Yeah. Um, another amazing political ad. Did you see this one, Sam? Did you see this political ad, Sam? No. This video. Have you seen this? No. It's very funny. Democrats like to say that no one needs an AR-15 for self-defense. That no one could possibly need all 30 rounds. But when this rifle is the only thing standing between your family... And a dozen angry Democrats in Klan hoods. <laughs> you just might need that semi-automatic. <laughs> and all 30 rounds. I don't I, know I, when the Democrats are going around uh, lynching why? people. But. Well, dude, I mean, like, that's the whole thing, dude. Yeah. Have you seen that meme where the... They lynch you cyber online. The, they lynch first, you online. the first black politician elected to Republican versus the first black politician re elected to democrat in like the no, center yeah so. yeah yeah i mean they were all democrats back then of course yeah all the all the kkk guys for sure but yeah uh, yeah, yeah anyway i thought that was hilarious all right um, dude all right last story here this is uh there's a new product i mean it's just it's the sign of of how grim the future is uh, with ai and and how lonely people are have you seen this 
So imagine this, having a companion that's always there for you, like literally wherever you go, and it's always ready to chat whenever you need it. That's what this young tech guy, Avi Schiffman, is working on with his new AI project called Friend. Yeah. Because apparently we've all forgotten how to make real ones. It's like he looked at humanity and said, yeah, they're better off with something that won't ask them to move a couch, <laughs> forget their birthday, or hit them up for money when they're short. So what it is, it's a necklace you wear around your neck, right? And it can talk to you. Uh, it can comment on converse. It listens to everything you're saying Ugh. and everything everybody around you is saying, and it'll just pipe in the conversations. All, all like, you need is you want that to. and Google glasses, and you're fucking yeah. never talking to another and it's, it's, living human being. That's it, and it's meant to be replaced friends. Basically, is what it is. It's it's meant to participate in your life as a friend would is the idea, so that if you don't have any, uh, you know, you can have some some kind of comfort, uh, you know, to keep you. Keep you in denial about that fact, I guess. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's about it. It wasn't it was a crazy week. Uh, we, oh, I, I mean, I guess I have to show. This. So I wanted to get this like three weeks ago, but this is. I thought this was fake for a while, but this is real, dude. So this was three months before the Trump shooting. Did you see this? I'm sure you did. You must have seen this. But for anybody who didn't, all this is a, America. All this is a guy on, a, and I confirmed that this is real. Uh, this is a guy making, he's a prophet, he calls yeah, himself, I saw and this. he makes these predictions. And I saw three Trump months. rising up, and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, This bullet flew by his ear, and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. Well, I got that, and I bro. Saw, um, I he, mean. Was, he fell <laughs> to his knees during this time frame, and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. Fell down. I'm talking... People say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus, for what I saw coming. Uh, but that, like, just the idea that he three months ago said, hey, Trump's Johnny, what about the big controversy? The new, is the dress, what, blue or yellow? What was that controversy? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. The, new the new one, one is, did Trump say, I'm a Christian or oh, I'm not I a pulled, Christian? I pulled this, actually. Uh, let me, I was going to skip it. Um, yeah, okay, I have it right here. Uh so I think he said I'm not. I, I am. I don't think he said what you said. I think he said that he's like he just kind of stumbles on his words here. But you can decide at home. And again, Christians get out and vote just this time. Now it is the way he does this is kind of gross. I will say it's well, what patronizing. I, I, I want to say what when he says that you won't have to worry about this after this. I have I have a belief on what he's saying there. Well, yeah, I mean, some people think that there's not going to be another election. Uh, is what he meant. Oh, but. he is the right. He's the last. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years. You know what? It'll be fixed. It'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christians. I love you, Christians. I'm a Christian. I love you. Get See, it sounds to me like he's going. To, I'm a Christian, that's what it sounds like to me. Now, I get what you're saying. I'm not. But a here, wa watch his head. The only thing is his head shakes now. Yeah, but he's doing this like, I'm I'm a Christian, like kind of doing the like the comedy, you know, like the shake, like that kind of thing. Okay, that's it what just I read sounds on weird to me. But he sounds weird. He talks strangely. Uh, he, it sounds like to me he's going, I, I, I'm a Christian, like that. Christians, I love you, Christians. I'm a Christian. I I'm love you. Christian. Get out. You got to get he out and vote. No. No, In four years, yeah, you don't I have know. to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good you're not going to have to vote. Now, that, that's weird to me. That's a yeah, weird thing to I say. I also think that he's going to... I mean, yeah, that is a weird statement. I didn't hear the second part of that. I was just thinking because he's he can only go one up term, right? Yeah, he's only got one more term. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's... You'll never have to vote again. Like, what does that mean? You're going to be dictator. They've been like, saying what? that, dude. I know. I know. They've been saying that. Anyway, I, I don't. I don't. I just think he just says a lot of things uh, when he when he goes off script. Apparently, like after the speech when he was at the Republican National Convention, they had this beautiful speech written for him, and then they were all backstage like, just just read the speech. Just and he went off script, you know, and they were all just like heads in their hands, like, oh, you don't. I you, mean, dude, these things are stupid. He says he should. I mean, he has yeah. it. It's, he just, it's, it's over the, as long as he, he has to yeah. just chill. Now, did you see him when he went to the all Play the women's or the black uh, press conference? Have you seen no, that? No, no, no. What does he do? If you what? watch Trump at black, uh, black. Uh, here it is right here. Internal no, chaos no. over Trump's appearance at National Association of Black Journalists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The woman interviews him and she gets curb stomped. If you watch how, how it goes. 
Former President Trump sparring with reporters at the National Association of Black Journalists Convention. Take a look. You attack black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that oh, they just... ask are, quote, stupid and racist. Why should black voters trust you? I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, the first question. <laughs> I love the black population of this country. I've done so much for the black population of this country. I think he does well with the audience. Uh, I don't think she does well. Historically well, if, I, I wonder who's you there. Is it, it his crowd, or do you think it's... Do you want I, me to find the original clip? Yeah, not okay. where, where it's cut by Fox News. Okay. Every fucking four years so shows her true colors. Like, Fox News loves to go like, oh, dude, camel toe is... is, is a t Polling so close. I think they would need people to think she's gonna win, so they tune of in. Of course. If they, if they uh, uh, well, they also need so that when they do, when they, do, it was right there. It was right there. It's either that. Well, this is 20, 36 minutes. So be yeah, but just watch the beginning of it. And anchor of the Faulkner. Okay. An hour of your time. Uh, I want to start so by addressing the elephant in the room, sir. A lot of people did not think it was appropriate for you to be here today. You have pushed false this is claims opening about with some him. of your rivals, from Nikki Haley to former president. Well, Imagine mean, so. defending Nikki Haley. Ugh. Like, right there. Nikki Haley would bomb your entire neighborhood if, if she knew we'd give her a dollar. A warmonger. Barack Obama saying that they were not born in the United States, which is not true. You have told four congresswomen of color who were American citizens to go back to where they came from. You have used words like animal and rabbit to describe black district attorneys. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they <laughs> ask are, He's quote, so stupid good, and racist. Yeah. As so, much you can hate him. Dinner with Listen, the, white the reason I like Trump He's funny, dude. is that everybody who's annoying hates him. So it's like the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And if you can't see he's funny, you're just in denial. I keep going. I well, listen to Also, he's box. called just about everybody a loser, to be fair. A resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after moment. you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question <laughs> so in, in such a horrible manner, the first question. <laughs> You don't even say, hello, how are you? Yeah, really. Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible oh, he's network. so good. He okay. just steals and for whole momentum. I think it's disgraceful that I came here in good spirit. Uh, I love the black population of this country. I've done so much for the black population of this country, uh, including uh, employment, including uh, opportunity zones with Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina, which is one of the greatest programs ever for uh, black workers and black entrepreneurs. I've uh, done so much, and you know, and I say this uh, historically, black colleges and universities were out of money, they were stone cold broke, and I saved them and I gave them long term financing, and nobody else was doing it. I think it's a very rude introduction. I don't know. Exactly why you would do something like that. And let me go a step further. I was invited here and I was told my opponent, whether it was Biden or Kamala, uh, I was told my opponent was going to be here. It turned out my opponent isn't here. You invited me under false pretense. And then you said, you can't do it with Zoom. Well, crushing her. Uh, you know, where's Zoom? She's going to do it with Zoom and she's not coming. And then you were half an hour late, just so we understand. I have too much respect <laughs> for you to be late. They couldn't get their equipment working or something Mr. was President, wrong. I, would love I think it's a very nasty question. Wow. I, I have answered the question. Trust you with another I have years. been the best president for the black population since Abraham Lincoln. Better That's than, my answer. Better than President I Johnson think, who signed answer. the Voting Rights Act. Think, and, but by the way, President Johnson referred to you as N-words yes. with a hard ER, yeah. okay? Yeah. Hard ER. This is what happened. They don't know any history. No. They don't know any history. No. Okay? He did that because they, they made him do that. That was, that was, Johnson was a scumbag. Scott Johnson was a scumbag. All I would say is I've done nothing but help. Kamel Harris locked up more black people than anybody in the history of California. And she kept people on death row when she had evidence that they weren't guilty. For, po for political reasons. Get out of here.
She sucks. Yeah. This is great, though. You're right. That this was is, great. Yeah, and yeah. he was getting a good response in no, enemy, like enemy yeah, territory, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's all I got to say. Uh, that's it for me. All right, guys. Uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this show. I thought it was a great show, as always. As always, it was the greatest. <laughs> uh, we appreciate your love. Go to samtriplee.com. And uh, check out my dates. Uh, this will be out. Dude, we got Giant Comedy Monday. Chaos coming. I hope we sell out the second show as well. It's a killer show. We'll see how it goes. Two great shows. Uh, Indianapolis, you were awesome as always. Hollywood, California, Long Beach. We got more shows coming. I'm trying to book gigs. Wait, I, I, now you say that, but then you told me the other week that you're thinking of taking weekends off. No, which well, is I'm it? thinking about, ta- I, like, yeah, I mean, I need money, dude. But I would love to rest from Friday Evening to Saturday evening. I would love to do that. I have to figure you out. You say you're going to gonna quit Twitter. I say I'm going to quit porn. I'm, I'm dude. I, 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 How's I, that going? What day are we on? I, it was zero. <laughs> I'm just bo- Johnny. Here's my problem. Fist, it's fist pounds on the way out. I by go. The way. I go. I go to. Uh, I go work out. I work. I do a million podcasts. I'm working all the time. Then I'm with my children. And like when I have time alone, I'm bored. I, I try to read. I try to read. I get like five pages. I, I'm you bored. You got to do audiobooks. You got to do audiobooks. I know I do. All right, guys. Go to, hey, real quick, check out samtriplee.com for uh, my premium content, man. I've been doing really great stuff on there. Have you tried audiobooks? Yeah, I, I mean, dude, I'm listening to Johnny Cash read the Bible right yeah, now I've, I've listened to with that. my buddies. It's, uh, can I just say, by the way, it's really interesting to me watching you discover all the shit that i was bored to tears by when i was like 12 13 yeah. 14 growing up in the church yeah. and you finding these things and be like it's it's amazing it is like, amazing dude yeah. that whole thing with the last supper and you betray me three times before the rooster yeah. crows yeah, that's is what I was mind-blowing about. to me it's mind-blowing no, I mean, and it, and the way it's written, you can tell there's something special to the book. You know what I mean? There like is, the way- and you know there's manipulation in it. Yeah. But you just gotta feel it to me. No, you can feel the truth. The What's truth the rings different. What's the feel? Huh? And it's just like I just I don't know, man. There's something that tells me. You should read some Isaiah. Isaiah's got some really mystical kind of interesting. I'm excited, thing. dude. Anyways, uh, term of the week is Je- Jesus Karate Chop. Jesus Karate Chop. All right. Is that, I love is the that Lord. sacrilegious Jesus Karate Chop? Is it? I think he's going to know karate and jiu-jitsu when he comes back. Fine. Then don't say that. My Lord dropped the hammer. That's How about that one? That's Bye. It. We're done? Okay.